If you're gonna play in Texas, you gotta have fiddle in the band. That lead guitar is off and off for Louisiana man. So Ross and old that will be fade in love and let's all dance. If you're gonna play in Texas, you gotta have fiddle in the band. Well, hello, Chicken Claws. Latter day Massacres. Latter day Massacres, mm. curious. This is High Priest. You guys gotta change the title of it. And we're here today. Yeah, this is Sam Pendleton live stream. And Ramona. We're going to be hosting a very important call tonight. Uh, this okay. Is going to likely be the very you want to change it to Last Lauren Call, the breakup or the heartbreak or something like that? Yeah, Ramona. Um, Something about the end, Ramona breaks up with Lauren. We're getting everything set up right now. Okay. Ember, are you on that, or do I need to do that, or can you do that? I just came, I just on, came on and introduced the stream. So we are live streaming now. Both of you are live. Damn, man. It just went live, and we've already got 25 people on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, why so many people are going to join when she changed the title? This is gonna. This is your moment to shine, Ramona. You're in the spotlight. You're going to knock them dead. Oh, my gosh. Get excited, man. This is your. This is it. This is your, this, you know, you go in hard. You go in heavy. Shock and awe. You know what I mean? Carpet bomb them. Don't give them a chance to breathe. <laughs> Yeah, but I usually like doing things on my own terms, but whatever. I've been thrust into this. <laughs> By the school bullies. I promise this is the best way. And I promise that once you get it, once you get, uh, you know, you pop the lid on that, you'll start to enjoy it and just ease into it, you know. You did. You ever do sports in, in high school or in college? Team yeah, sports? I did shoot hockey and softball. Yeah, so you know what it, you know what's up. Once you get in the game, it's just it's all about performing in the game, and all that other stuff blurs into the into the periphery, and it's just about performing. <laughs> or to, so uh, we can have to, to borrow from the, uh, we can talk about the fight from the other night, you know, this is this is your your Mayweather, and you're in the ring, and now you you know this guy wants this guy's been. Trying to pound on you and trying to pound on the world, and this is your chance now to unload on him. By the way, who won that one? Oh, old money Floyd Mayweather won that one. So he's still undefeated, huh? Still undefeated and retired. He uh, he said he's not going to fight anymore. He said that last time, but. He came out of retirement for this one because they paid him almost two hundred million dollars. So I think he's done. You're time. kidding. Yeah, no, he made a ton of money, man. And, that is and criminal. Yeah, and Connor made uh, seventy five, I think, to lose the fight. That is criminal. Yeah. We have yeah. people who are in this country starving, and somebody was paid that much to fight someone for fifteen minutes. That's criminal. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Although, in fairness, they actually fought for closer to 30 minutes. <laughs> mm-hmm. How did you ever let that witch talk you into doing such stupid shit? <laughs> and somebody was paid that much. Okay, we're on. Uh, okay, so we're streaming. Everybody can hear us, I believe. I would like confirmation, um, and as soon as I get it, then um, we will begin. Hello. And I say that I need confirmation because I'm... Hello? Okay. Right on. Hey. That Sam Pendleton tone rapper. All right. Hey, uh, who wants that? to go? Ember, do you want to open this up? you want me to? What do you think? Aunt Ramona? Sure. It's eight Guys, change the title, though. It still says live stream. Change the title. Nothing. And Emma, Emma, um, volume up some, too. Okay. 
That's that's better. Let me hear you talk for about five, ten seconds to make sure it sounds all right. So what I was trying to do is to cue up the part of the call where I told Warren off and told him that it was fake and that I thought he was okay. a stupid loser pedophile. And, uh, okay, your I, your volume your volume is okay, but you're cutting out a lot. Yeah, it's because I'm live stream. So okay, right on. I'm probably oh, just getting so, Okay. So you all right. Well, so uh, uh first of all, greetings to everyone who's in the stream. Uh if you have any lornographer friends who are not listening in, uh let them know that they should be tuning in because this is a big night for lornography. And um we are excited to bring this to all of you. Uh Ramona, would you, you like turn to your fill audio Oh, yeah, I guess I should, huh? <laughs> All right, I've muted it. All right, so, um, Ramona, do you want to tell the people what's going on? Would you like me to fill everybody in? Um, you saw everybody on the get that title change so they know what's going on. Yeah. Um, well, most of the people here came from Facebook with the announcement. So it went to it. It'll take a few minutes to come into the class. Um, do you want me to play the segment where I tell more to <laughs> All right. Check, check, check the title now. See if that makes you happy. Check like this that one. out. My husband's here. Uh, His name uh, is Sam. And What's up, <laughs> okay. And we think well, that you good. and Ramona that's deserve appropriate. everything that you both get. All right. Ramona you like that or you want something else? This is perfect. A pedophile okay. sympathizer and you so, for So, to winning. all of our Church of Cod slash pornography slash TCAP slash curious by TCAP curious whatever friends, uh, tonight's the night. And uh, the long and short of it is that Lauren has been made aware of... Uh, some of the uh, Ramona project, uh, he knows now that some of the stuff has gone out. And uh, basically the only thing that he still believes is real, <laughs> if you can believe this, after everything this man has been through, the only thing he still believes is real is Ramona. So Ramona is about to break his heart by hitting him with a life-size dose of the cold, hard truth. And that is what you're all tuning in for, to hear and observe in real time Lauren getting his heart broken. Oh, I'm so excited. Ramona, how do you feel? Going in, this is like <laughs> I'm, in, I'm interviewing the quarterback before the Super Bowl. That's kind of like what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Um, are you excited? Are you nervous? Tell us what your thoughts are. Um, I'm anxious to um, touch Mr. Penis. <laughs> well, well, of course. Who isn't? Who isn't? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about talking to Lauren. <laughs> Right on. Right on. Are you, uh, you know, this is 10 months now that you've been dealing with this degenerate animal and having to pretend to be interested and undisgusted. So uh, you've got to have some aggression built up, right? Some some sense of uh, that this is that this is long overdue and you're finally going to get your ultimate reward and he's going to get his comeuppance for everything that he's put you through to say nothing of what he's put the rest of the universe through, right? You know, and it's funny because oddly enough, I'm like, can I, I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> um, um, 
you, you caught me on a night where I'm not mad at him, so I had to, like, remember all the times where he called me a pathetic bitch, a piece of shit, a whore, a loser, a bitch, a cunt. Um, so I had to think about all those times that he said that and all the times that... <laughs> How about that little girl who sounds cognitively delayed and he keeps manipulating her, asking her if she wants to touch his penis? Showing her yeah. how he jacks off on cam and telling her it's not going to take much longer to get the white stuff to come out. He wanted this little tiny girl to see him jizz on himself. And then he wanted her to imagine drinking it. He told her almost every single fucking night, violate yourself, stick your fingers in your vagina for me, no matter how much she protested and said she didn't want to. This man made a girl fucking molest himself, herself as far as he was concerned at the time. He hasn't changed. People tell him and tell him over and over what is real and what isn't, and all Lorne wants is what he wants. He wants to be satisfied. And the reason he was talking to you is because you were his last chance to fuck a woman under 30 without having to worry about criminal charges. This is the man you're dealing with. He would have strangled you if you were standing across from him during those drunk phone calls. This man has charisma and has a sense of humor. That's not enough to fool smart women like you and smart men like the ones that we have on the call and the ones in the chat. This man is a piece of fucking shit, and he deserves pain. And if you let him off lightly, I'm going to give him a call and give him even more because this piece of shit has finally come to his eruption, and it's not going to feel good for him if I have anything to say about it. And and you're right, and... um. And another thing is that he also stole money from the elderly. I mean, so he has literally kind of screwed over every demographic that he comes by. The elderly, children, animals. You know, he tied his dog to a treadmill. Um, oh, and he also argued with me several times when I told him not to do that again. He defended yeah. that action. And he admitted to um, beating Roscoe so hard and violently that his other dog fucking left the trailer in the dead of winter in February in Maine and ran into the woods after seeing her brother get his ass beat by this fucking piece of shit. Exactly. Now, ladies, these are all great points, but let's not forget about the softer side of Lauren. I mean, who among us didn't melt a little bit when he told his 13-year-old girlfriend that if she didn't clean up the pizza that he was trying to feed Bud, that he would have to suck her dick? That's or how right. about the time that, or how about the time that he told her that it was her responsibility to wake him up for a job interview? You know, she is a thirteen-year-old middle schooler, and uh, if you can't rely on your thirteen-year-old middle school girlfriend to wake you up for your job interview, then she's really to blame as much as he is, don't you think? Yeah, and and yep, and um. Mm -hmm. It's probably also worth mentioning that right about the time Lauren was driving to Bowling Green, Betty was probably making funeral arrangements because her husband had passed away. His heart stressed because they didn't have any money to finish the repairs on their house, much less any kind of a financial cushion, because somebody, I am not mindful of who it was now, decided to uh, make off with their retirement savings. And then said that he didn't owe her the money because, quote, somebody took it from him. And when I said that she is probably in financial ruin, the senior citizen lady is probably in financial ruin and probably really needs that money. Can you pay her back? And, you know, she's probably struggling from it. That's why she goes online or suffering from it. I said to him, that's why she goes online. And then he said, quote, and I quote, yeah, well, that fucking bitch can get a job. And I said, well, Lauren, she's an elderly lady. There ain't nothing wrong with her. Or, I'm sorry. There ain't shit wrong with her. She can work. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. But guys, and let's not forget the let, fact I mean, that the, oh. I was just I was just gonna say, but but you have to you have to balance these memories of Lauren's colorful life with 
some of the good and virtuous things he's done. Why, who can forget all the times that he thought it was appropriate to send naked pictures of himself to a woman he knew was married with children? Oh, and then had the nerve to say bad things about this woman's children. Oh, but also, let's not forget, he does not just, he does not discriminate. He doesn't insult children. He also told me that talking to him was, quote, more important than my Nana's health and told me, and she's, by the way, 96, and told me that I need to get off the phone with her. Several times he told me that I need to get off the phone with her. Oh, yeah, and also there's that whole thing about Christmas where he thought that I was at Christmas with, or, you know, in a different state in, for Christmas with um, my family, and at the time me and my mom were playing Scrabble and my Nana was singing to us. But it was more important for me to go into the bathroom so that I can sit on a shit-stained toilet and he could propose. And that was one month in. I shouldn't have said a shit stain toilet. The only thing that stained with shit is lawn. I meant shit, um, germ, no, you know, toilets are germy. Would you, I mean, li like literally, would you eat your dinner off of the toilet? I mean, maybe lawn deserves to eat food out of the toilet, but. Yeah, <laughs> um, if, oh, the other, if, the, if the other choice were to eat dinner with Lauren, I would have the dinner on the toilet. The fact that I, as a nice person who at times has tried to help Lauren, and have spent several hours giving Warren advice, telling him good practical things that he should do. Warren, focus on yourself. Warren, take some time and focus on you. Warren, instead of doing, you know, instead of, don't, and I've told Warren many times, do not love me. Don't love me. You know, I'm not in love with you. Don't be in love with me. You've never met me. I've told that him that many times. Exactly. He is the same person. The only reason why he's not out trying to harm children is because he has probation officers who are kind of tracking him, sort of. Yeah, this is a, this is a man with no value, no redeeming qualities as a human being, and uh, no regard for anyone but himself and his disturbing appetites and he uh, he merits nothing by way of compassion or mitigation of your rage. It's time to unload on him with everything you've got. And we've got uh, almost 100 people listening now. Hey, really? We do. So and, probation uh, officer is on. Hi, probation officer. <laughs> um, thank you for keeping Lauren off the street. I know that you guys are concerned with the fact that he has a whole community that's interested in him or whatever. But that's not as important as the fact that this guy really might be out trying to... <laughs> I just got a message from one of... Hold on a second. From one of our fellow Lauren references. But that is not as important as the fact that this guy would be out raping children right now if he were not being watched. 100%, man. 100%. So for all of these reasons and countless others, it's time. The time has come. You ready to give the world what they came for? <laughs> Let me read your guys' messages. Tell me what you guys think.
Well, we've got uh, Yes, Let's Do It. He thinks we love him. Yes, yes, yes. Ronnie, you're doing a great job. Can't believe I'm here for history, Mr. Wongberger. Tell Mrs. Wongberger to come join us too, Mr. Wongberger. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not. Yes, you got here in time, Devario. Ramona for being a pedophile sympathizer and you for one of the right, Thank you all for your wait, time. Wait, 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 I'm so an officer and you're, you're giving comfort to this fucking kid who tried to, to fuck it. a little girl um, okay, and okay, screamed at you for months. Goddamn right. Yeah. Yeah. TJ and I. TJ. Hunker down, buckle in, grab your popcorn. Lauren? You're not recording me with that stupid witch, are you? Oh, Lauren, no, I'm not recording you with that. With That's how you refer to women? That's real nice. Um, that, 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 I don't consider that a woman. I consider that a witch. That's why she likes octopus and she likes spiders. She can tangle people up in their web. Nothing is wrong with spiders. Now, anyway, <laughs> what was with all those... Mess- disgusting, just like her. Okay, what was all with all those messages? Because, see, these are things that you've said to me. These are things that you have called me. So now, as I was saying. She wants to do a stupid shit like that? She uh, put my mom on the fucking internet. A 77-year-old woman that hasn't done anything to anybody. Are you fucking kidding me? How do you, how can anybody, especially a woman, explain that? Why is this? A, why is this this thing about women? When you call women bitches, just and whores get and him, Ramona. Just get him. Come on. They're doing shit to me that I don't deserve. Fucking right. They fit the. They fit the profile. She okay, when you profile. you deserve okay, when it. You Lauren. called me those things. Now, oh, but I guess how did, you, how did you get tangled up in her little web? How did she talk you into doing this shit? You're not gonna talk to me like that. No, you can't answer the question. It's no, the no. I asked you before, and you said you didn't. You lied to me. No, you're not going to talk to me like this. I am you done with you. Like what? But, yeah. And so I should just accept what you have done, and not be mad about it. Lauren, for the last nine months, all it has been is you drunk and texting me nasty shit. You've insulted my grandmother. You've insulted my parents. You've insulted my friends, all because they don't jive with your reality and, and, and because they take time away from you. You have been nothing but selfish. I didn't record you, put you on the internet. Lauren, I don't care if you record me. I have nothing to hide from what I've said to you. Why are you trying, why are you trying to turn shit around? No, I'm not trying to turn anything around. You're certainly, you're certainly not you know, explaining anything to me. But I, I don't owe you anything. Shit. I don't you, really. You don't owe me anything. At the seven months, how do I owe you? you? At the seven months of us being on the phone, eight to ten to twelve hours a freaking day, and we get get you involved in this shit. What? I don't owe you anything. Yeah, you're smarter than that. What does my intelligence level have to do with you being entitled or thinking that you're entitled to get something? from some bitch, cunt, piece of shit, whore that you've never met. Considering I let my whole self go with you. Lord, I told, how many times have I told you not to love me? Hey, I mean, how, give me that bullshit. How many times? Don't give me that fucking car, my back-ass bullshit. Okay, well, how many times have I told you that? Well, um, uh, you don't think you owe me an explanation of why you lied to me so much. And you don't owe me an explanation of why you've lied to me so much? I haven't lied to you so much. Really? I, obviously, I haven't lied to you anywhere near as what you lied to me. Especially in these last two months. So, so, so what was your reason to go to Dunkin' Donuts? I explained that to you a long time ago. I was just stupid. Yeah? Oh, oh, just stupid. Do so, it. Uh, how was and it then... going back to that? 
say when you're just going around, trying to go around, explain to me about the stupid the shit that you did. Just do it. Well, but, but see, here's the thing, though. I don't owe you an explanation for anything. And you think I owe you one? Well, I don't. I don't think you owe me anything. Well, I think you do owe me an explanation of this bullshit. Well, I don't owe that you any. You've been leading me on. But this explain it now. Long so you can so you could gain my trust. Yes. Lauren, I so have you, told so you. you could record me for her. Lauren, I have yes. told As I'm saying, and first of all, I'm not recording you. That's thing one. Thing two, I don't owe you any anything. Thing three, you never let me get to thing three, so I don't have one. Now, as I was going to say, I don't owe you anything. I have told you so many times to go find somebody who's in your state. For seven months. You never told me that. For the last two months. You are a liar. Lord, I have told you that. I even told you that before I hurt my knee. Remember back when I was so amazing? Why are you not? Tell me how you did this shit. I don't owe you anything. Really? What's the far as to get my mom involved? Just to put it on the internet? You realize how disgusting that is? Do you realize how disgusting you are? I sit there and I try and help you, right? And I try and get you to admit, admit that you were going to go rape a child. You say, no, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. I said, Lauren, it'll make you feel better if you admit it. No, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. You're trying to get me to admit it so you can record me for her to put on there. Lauren, everybody knows you were going to do it. Nobody's trying to record you to get you to admit it. Nobody nobody knew anything. Why did you know what was going on? Why are you trying to put the, you're trying to send send this shit all around again. You're famous for doing that. Turn shit around on oh, I'm, I'm famous now. That's pretty cool. I get to be famous. And you want to talk about your mom? You always, you always like, what? Well, Sam Pendleton. Okay, if you're going to talk, then I'll let you talk. Otherwise... I'm going to you to answer questions. Okay, again, if you're going to talk over me, I'll just let you talk to yourself. I want to know how you got involved with her. How did she turn your head so you could do this shit to me? Now, as I was going to say... You talk about, oh, well, you did this to my mom, and you did this to my mom. And how much money have you borrowed off of your poor 77-year-old mom who's on Social Security? But you don't think when about I'm, that. You don't think about other I'm, people. When I'm down, she's there. When, she's, when she doesn't have money, I throw money at her. When you're down, she's there. Well, how many times do you have? What's it called? It's called that. Love. There, okay, there's a difference between love and having no, to love. No, I'm, I'm not going to explain that shit to as you. As I was saying, there's a difference between no, love. No, no, you're recording me for her again. As I was saying, there's a difference between love and having to loan your 47-year-old son money because he drank all of his money. How about this millionaire therapist that you got? Sam Pendleton. What? This millionaire therapist that you got, Sam Pendleton. One with the elevator. Okay, what about him? Okay, what about him? 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 I know that. I know he played in your therapist. That's the same voice. And I was already told that it was Sam Pendleton. And his husband. Okay, what about what about a millionaire? Amber's husband. Okay, what about him? Why don't you tell me why you lied to me? Why don't you tell me why you lied to me so many times? To get me worked up so, so that you could record me for Emma to put on the internet? Well, you get yourself worked up. You're an alcoholic. That's what you do. Because yeah, I believed in you. Well, I have told you many times. Not to believe in you? It's not about believing in me. It's not you've never met me. Yes, I give you good advice. I've done that, and I've done a lot of nice <laughs> I've never met you. That means you have to be dishonest and distrustful. Well, you've never met me. Does that mean you have to call me a bitch, a cunt, a whore, a piece of shit when I don't answer your phone calls at 3 in the morning? Is that how you treat women? <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. That's the old you. That's the I new mean. you. Well, you turn shit around. Instead of answering questions, you turn shit around. Take responsibility, Ramona. Remember you saying that? 
Well, I have yet to see you do it. Remember, remember, you tried to rape a kid because you didn't get mac and cheese. Wow. Boy, I think I'm talking to Emma. But I'm glad you believe in this pathetic bitch. But you believing in me has nothing to do with anything because you don't believe in me, and I don't need you to. But I don't now. What reason do I have to believe in you now? Lauren, I told you for the last two freaking months. Lauren, I told you. You let this this thing get you caught up in a web so that she could record and put me on the internet. But I I don't know how Isn't that disgusting? How could how could you let her do that to you? Well, she didn't do anything to me. Lauren, I. I called you to be nice to you. I didn't call you to get a relationship out of it. What the hell? Well, this is not a relationship. You into recording me and lying to me. Well, this is not a relationship. Uh, not anymore, eh? Lord, it never was. You don't know me. Who's fault of that? Yours, not mine. You've had plenty of time to come up here. Lauren, I did not want to come up. Lauren, I saw what kind of. I saw what kind of. Why why don't you? Why don't you? No, why don't you tell me the truth? As I was saying, I saw the kind of person you are, Lauren. I would never want to. Yeah, you're you're a violent, you're violent, angry little man. And why would I want to go hundreds of miles, strangled by a racist defender when I'm sure there's somebody here in my state who will do it? You what? Can I get a mouth on me when I get pissed and that's it? I'm far from violent. Oh, you, okay. So let, let so okay. So rewind. Yes. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. So so you've got you've got a mouth right, on you. Right, you've got a mouth on you when you get pissed. Yep. That's Everybody what you does. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm what? Single that on that one. You know what? I have had a lot of real boyfriends in real life. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I've had boyfriends in real life, and um, they I've made them mad because that's what happens, and none of them have ever called me a bitch, a cunt, a piece of shit, a whore, none of them. But then again, none of them had your issues, and what are your issues? Everything that you've done that you won't take responsibility for, like fucking stealing from old people. Yeah. Like fucking going an hour to try to have sex with someone who was underage. Everything that you've wow. done, all these wow. things you've done. Yeah, wow, I can't believe you did that. Wow. All I, 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 cannot you believe, did. I cannot believe you're throwing that shit in my face. I'm not throwing it in your face, Lauren. These are things that you did, and these are reasons why. You've been throwing are, shit in my face the last two months. Lauren, you've thrown stuff in my face uh, for the last uh, however long. Ever, ever, since, to ever you. since you got Ever since you got your knee injury, somehow got hooked up with Emma, you've been throwing shit in my face. Emma and a knee injury have nothing to do with me, have nothing to do with you. What has to do with you... You like staying up all night long? It's my choice. Is what has right? to do with you, Lauren? Uh, you don't think you don't think you it's the fact read there? As I was saying, it's the fact that the therapist is not the only one that thinks you're a loser. Lauren, you've done nothing in life. What did I say to you the other day? <laughs> Name one thing you've been successful <laughs> at. The fucking therapist. Okay, well, the guy who called you a loser, Lauren. You mean Sam Pendleton? The guy that you, you know who Sam Pendleton was? You are an asshole to the maximum. You are someone who never takes responsibility for what they do. You will always blame other people for the for the position that you're in. I always blame other people for uh, fucking. Rip. What? I will always blame other people for recording me and putting me on the internet. Okay, so so here's the thing, though. Because I think, what, Dateline was the first to record you? But, um, yeah, they wouldn't have been recording you if you hadn't shown your dick to a 13-year-old. There you go. Throw something in my face again. Can't get away from that? 
But see, here's the thing, though. You can say whatever yeah, you yeah. want. Why aren't you taking responsibility for the wrongs that you've done? Because I because I haven't done it. Right. In this situation, I haven't. You, you haven't lied to me? Lauren, I have always told you. I, I have, In fact, how many times have I told you that I loved you? Never. Not one time. Yeah, you know why? Because you've been playing me. So you can, so you can get with Emma and record me and put me on the Internet. Isn't that smart? What did you two really get out of that? Lauren, what did I get out of talking to you? What was that? As I was going to say. Okay, well, I can turn it back on you. What kind of thrill is it to hey, call me? What kind of thrill is it? What? I said, what kind of thrill is it to call women no good pieces of shit? What kind of thrill is it to send your dick pic to any woman who will talk to you? What kind of thrill is that? That is just me being stupid. So, so, see, you can just explain anything that you do away by saying, oh, I was stupid. I'm not now, but I was stupid. Yeah, and what do you want me to say? That was smart? Obviously, it wasn't. But see, but yet you did it. Yeah, and then you did it. Well, that's not it. So, like I said, you did it. And then you did it again. And then you continued to do it. How long have you been sending stuff to Emma about me? Don't ask me questions. I'm, ans- I'm asking the questions. Yeah, I'm asking the questions, too. I'm, because I'm when I, the only one that has the right to ask the questions. Oh, oh, oh. So I don't have the right to ask the questions? You get the right to. It doesn't mean it is right. Oh, so it's not? Uh, okay, okay. When, you're the, when you're the one that's been playing me for nine months. When you've been abusing me for nine months. I haven't been abusing you for nine months. Oh, okay. So, so what do we call every mm. single weekend? Like, you don't, call, you don't call what you've been doing abusing me? As I was saying. Every single oh. weekend. Like... Clockwork. Because I come up with that, it's all of a sudden anyway. Anyway. Because you would be I am not abusing you. I've been abusing you. Lauren, all you anyway do answer. expect me to sit on the phone with you all goddamn day. I, I've told you many times, well, get a life. Get hobbies. Get a job. Do things outside of harass me all day. Really? Yeah, Lauren, I've told you that many times. <laughs> oh, God. It's amazing. Why would you think that someone half your age is going to put up with this for longer than, well, longer than I have, but whatever? Why, why do you think that somebody who, who's half your age is going to want to deal with this bullshit when there are guys who don't act like this, Lauren, and that's that's the thing I don't think you understand. Because I think um, because I thought you really felt something for me, and you wanted to see me through it. Lauren, why should some woman in no, her no, no, you're, the one, you're the one that said you were going to sleep with me. Wait, 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 wait. Why should some woman in her twenties see you through your issues, and she's not I getting? Didn't, I did not contact you. You contacted me. Lauren. I don't keep saying some woman in her 20s. Okay, as I contacted you. I texted you, and then you insisted that I call you, but that wasn't good enough. You wanted to talk to me every single day. I did not want that. Oh, you didn't? So why'd you keep calling me? Well, you called me. Oh, you never called me? Yes, Lauren, I have called you before. But okay, nine times out of ten, kind of the as I was saying, truly, nine times out of ten, you would call me. <laughs> oh, God. Truly, nine times out of ten, you would call me. Man, amazing how you've done nothing wrong, huh? Well, what I did wrong was spend hours on the phone with you that I should have been doing other things, I'm sure. I'm sure I, I could have found better things to do. And you, don't think that, you don't think that recording me and giving it to Emma so she can put it on the internet? You don't think that was wrong? I didn't record you, now. Oh, so you just had Emma on the phone so she could record me all the time. 
as I was saying, and I doubt that she has that kind of time. Uh, she must have had it when you were talking to me. my mom, telling her all that and things that I had said. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. that. Imagine that, that, that you, it, you thought that your mom was going to come on and say. How did that happen, Ramona? As I was. That? As I was going to say, you thought that your mom was going to come on and say, oh, my son is amazing. Oh, oh he's going to turn around again instead of as, taking responsibility. As I was saying, oh, my son is amazing. He just wants to, he, he, just, he just misunderstood. That's probably what you thought she was going to say. And I was going to say, oh, well, Lord, since your mom says that you're amazing, I'm catching the next flight to Maine. Here I come. Turn around again so you don't answer the question. But after this conversation, Lauren, you never have to worry about me calling you ever again. I know. The only way you're going to be real to me is if you can actually come up here. I can't do anything about it. I told you that. I was being honest with you when I told you. Well, I'm not coming up to this. Of course not. Because you're getting all the information you want so you can give it to Emma to put it on the Internet. Yeah, because my whole life revolves around Emma posting videos on YouTube. It has for last no two months. It has for the last two months. Evidently it has before that. Somehow some other shit about um, that was supposed to be only between me and you wound up on the internet. How's the answer for this happening? Is it just magically winding up in Emma's hands? I don't know. I don't care. But I don't want to... Your phone got hacked. Sure, it did. Well, you Lauren, here's to, the thing. For, you for can't those, take responsibility for the lies that you told me. Here's the thing. You want, for those of, you want okay, me to you're, okay, you're going to keep talking lies. over me, so go ahead. Go ahead. You you're going to keep talking over me, so go ahead. Here, talk to yourself. Might as well. You don't take responsibility for anything. And then you've done wrong. You certainly don't want to take responsibility for it. And I haven't heard you do it once. I'm done listening to myself talk. Go ahead if you want to. Oh, thank you for giving me permission to talk. I'm not giving you permission. I say if you want to. What was yours? Oh, yeah, thank you. That's, that's real kind of you. I don't need your permission to talk. But see, here's the thing, though. You keep finding yourself in, in situations because you want to blame me for this and that and whatever. Any of you guys who are talking shit or who don't like this, fuck off. Fuck off. We don't want you here. Go play around. Go comfort your pedophiles, okay? Fuck you. Say some shit to me in this chat and take a fucking walk right afterwards. I will pause this shit and I will shut it down. So fuck you guys. You don't like it. You can kiss my asshole. Abusing me, I'm like, oh my god, is this guy out of his fucking mind? Like, why would you think somebody would want to be with that? That is insane. And then you tried to tell me, well, can you just love me? You should try to love me. Why the hell would I love someone who has insulted my nana, who has insulted my family, who has insulted me numerous times? Why would I want to be with that? And why would I want to be with somebody that's recording me and giving it to Emma? Or that are allowing Emma to record me? But lying to me for the last two months about don't know who Sam Pendleton is, my therapist. And God knows how many other lies you've told me in the last two months. Why would I want to be with that? But you don't take responsibility for it, and you constantly tell me I need to take responsibility for my actions. How did Emma ever wind up getting you to do stupid shit like this? Well, and Emma has never gotten me to do anything. I don't do anything I don't want to do. You know, so you wanted to record me to put me on the Internet. You First, wanted to record my mom to put my mom on the Internet. Lauren, one good thing I have done is I've exposed you. That way women in Maine, when, they, when, they, when you approach them, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. 
Because on the outside, yeah. I mean, if if she if a woman doesn't have on her glasses, she might think you're cute. And if you talk to her and you yeah. tell her about, oh well, you know, I was sidelined. Dateline is so mean, and you know, and they did this and that to me, and mac and cheese, and meatballs, and and big balls, and blue balls, and Santa Claus, and, yeah. and deviled eggs, and Easter eggs, yeah. and Easter egg hunts, and dinner cuts. If you tell them that kind of stuff, they'll believe you because you're very manipulative. Okay, so if she doesn't have her glasses on, she'll think you're cute. If she, if you tell her those things, you know. You can manipulate her, tell her about how Nikki stole from you, et cetera, et cetera. But any woman who hears you call me a bitch, a cunt, a piece of shit, a whore, and no good trash, and still has anything to do with you, she gets what the hell she deserves. And you don't think that somehow they can connect you with Emma? What does me and Emma have to do with that? People on the, on the Internet already know. They know all about you being hooked up with Emma. Boy, they know you have, you have connections with Emma. That is not the worst person on the Internet to ever have connections with. How could you ever let her talk you into doing stupid shit? Well, nobody talks me into doing anything. Remember how you tried to talk me into going to the bathroom on Christmas Eve? Wait, what? You could propose to me while I sit and look at the toilet. Remember that? Remember all the times I was hanging out with my friends and tried me to walk away from them? To talk to you because you think you're more important than everybody. Remember all the times when you tried to get me to call you? When yeah, yeah, remember all the times that I thought our conversations were between me and you, not me and you and the rest of the world. As I was saying, Lauren, when you start calling women bitches and cunts and sluts, you better be damn proud of what you're saying because it has every right to end up on the Internet so no other woman deals with you. You know what the sad thing is? is you actually got me out of doing that. The exception well, it's not my job to get you out of doing that. Uh, you helped me out in that matter. I'm not going to say you did because you did. Except for Emma. Well, it is not I, my I, job. I call, I call her a bitch to me until the day I die. I'm sure you will, because that's how you think of women. That's and and I'm sure there's that. other women. No, no, no. But there's other women who you're like that, too. You mean that, Nikki? Yep. Is anybody that's heartless as that and cold? And, that I guess, and I guess is heartless is what? They get, they get what they deserve when they, when they want to act like stupid dumbasses. They want but what do you deserve? What do you deserve to be called? What do you deserve to be called? Sometimes I deserve to be called an asshole. Sometimes I deserve to be called a piece of shit. It all depends on the way I act. If I act like a piece of shit, then I deserve to be called a piece of shit. If I act like an asshole, I deserve to be called an asshole. I can handle it. See, it's not about this. Then they can, they can deserve to be called the bitch. And Lauren, that is why you will never have a girl who truly loves you, because that is who you are. You are somebody who says that kind of stuff about women. You're somebody who doesn't respect women. You don't respect yourself, much less women. You drive drunk. I don't respect people that screw me over. I have no respect for people that will constantly want to screw people over. And what about people? I don't, and I, don't, I know what you're going to say. What? I know what you're going to screw her over, and I do plan to pay her back as soon as I can. You never so wanted you to screw her over. What? I said, you don't even need to go there because I already know what you're going to say. No, but I, first of all, I wasn't even going to say that. But yeah, okay, let's talk about the lady who you owe more money than you'll probably thanks. make thanks. in the next thanks. five years. Oh, gee, thanks for that vote of confidence there. I didn't talk to you, to you okay, how how long ago how long ago did you steal the money and how much have you paid? Oh God, a whopping hundred and twenty dollars. Well, she should be down on her knees and sucking your dick for that hundred and twenty dollars that you paid her out of thirty thousand because you were doing so well. If that was uh, 
If that was some kind of loan, that thirty thousand dollars would now be what? Twenty million? That's you know, that's you just clever. That's you just a clever one. What am I a clever bitch? Say it. Say what you want to say. <laughs> say everything you want to say. Again. Say it. Say it. Say what you want to say. Turn shit around again. I always turn shit around on me. Yeah, and you can't take responsibility for your own actions. Always turning shit around on you. So, when I would wake up in the morning with, oh, I don't know, 300 text messages, 20 calls, I'm sorry, 20 voicemails, 50 calls. I mean, those are literally things that you've done to me. And then I would say, Lauren, why'd you do this? Oh, I was drunk. Get over it. That was that would be your that would be your response. When you weren't drunk, you had him on the phone recording me and my mom. When you I was not, when you was not drunk, you were stone cold sober. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. That is far worse than anything I have ever done. You drunk. Oh, okay. So we, so, so because something happens to you, something's worse. I see. I see how it is. To me. To me. So, you so you. Can... year old woman. That's never done anything to anybody. Let me stop to think about that, huh? Oh, and and I'm about... so wound up in her fucking brain that you you, you care so about much. Her. About a 77-year-old woman that's never done anything to so much about this 77-year-old woman that you wouldn't return her call. You care for her car. You yeah, care so much her, her car. Car. How about that? How about that? Car. That's what you were saying. You're, no, I'm taking your car. You're not going anywhere. I did not oh, say that. You can't. Yes, you can't. Yeah, you're, obviously, yeah, you're obviously putting words in my, in my mouth. Okay, as I was saying, you care so much about this 77-year-old fucking woman that you called her a 77-year-old fucking woman. I did. <laughs> I I did. Not, just, no, not in terms you're saying. Okay, you said a 77-year-old fucking woman. I said it to you. Oh, okay, so you can say whatever you want. Hey, about you, uh, I keep trying off of her. Turn this around on me again. Don't imagine that one. Well, I'm not trying to turn anything around on you. Yes, I'm just trying to are. get you to realize what a shitty person you are and why do you expect... So much more than what you give. I'm a shitty person. Yeah. You, the one person that I believe in, turn around and record me for Emma to put on the internet, and turn around and record my mom to get to Emma to put on the internet. You are a shitty, a shitty person. But I'm a shitty person. You are a shitty person because I'm you. I'm a shitty person. If you let me speak. Go ahead. Say what you want. I don't need to say anymore. I already said it. As I was going to say, you are a shitty person because you have tried to fuck over every demographic. You owe you owe senior citizens money. You tried to fuck a kid. You put your dog on a treadmill. You called a, a Latina lady a, a pinch of puta, whatever. You said that I sound too intelligent to be black. You didn't say those exact words, but that's what you said. Oh, I didn't know you were black. I could no, I would never no. guess that. Yes, you did. When I told you oh, I was no. black, you shocked. You, <laughs> now you're putting words in my mouth. I said you don't. You don't sound like any black woman that I've ever heard. I said you sound you sound more like a white woman. Okay, I sound like a white woman is racist code for you sound black. Anything racist about it? Just the way people talk. There's nothing racist about it. Born. Born. Well, I cannot it, believe you're trying to put words in my mouth. Isn't that amazing? If I, was, if I was racist, do you really think I'd fall in love with the image of a black woman? Yeah, because you want to put your dick in a racist black woman. black woman. There's nothing racist about me. Literally nothing. Well, guess what? I did hear from, oh, dear Emma, that you got cut off from the road by a black guy and you called him the N-word. Oh, you heard that, huh? Yeah, I heard that. 
<laughs> I'm glad you heard that because I never heard it. Of course you heard it from Emma. It did she happen. She doesn't lie about anything, does she? Lauren, why would you have to? so honest. Lauren, why would she have to? Remember why? why? About why? that. Why? Did you uh, think about that? Moment if she were lying about that, I'm sure she would have thought of something better. Really? It couldn't happen to be that because you're black, Emma wants them to make me look negative to you. That's Lauren, you make yourself look that. negative to me more than anybody else possibly ever could have in the world in the entire universe on the planet. And what you've done doesn't make you look negative to me? Well, I don't care how I look to you. I really don't. That, that's obvious. You've shown that in the last two months. Well, good. How has she ever talked you into doing this stuff? Lauren, she doesn't have to talk me into doing anything. Do you want her to do this stuff? Lauren, I see the type of person that you are. You have you not... see the type of person that I am because you're not here to see me. Lauren, you, you are not... Here to, you are not here to spend time with me in person. Lauren, I don't need to be in person with you to see that you're a crappy human being. You are beautiful <laughs> in every way. You just yeah, thought that you... That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, you I know, you're that Ford. Yeah. You're Ford. You just thought that I was too dumb to see it because of my age. No. You are so far from the truth, it's unbelievable. You, you, know, you believe what you want to believe. You got Emma on the brain. You had her on the brain. I don't know how the hell she ever talked you into doing stupid shit like this, but... I mean, it's, it sucks the hell out of me. I never, ever, for a minute, thought that you would do something like this for her. Well, I'm not doing this for her. Especially after you already knew what all the stupid shit she had already done. Hopefully, as I was saying, hopefully women in Maine are aware of you. Because I, I really would not want a woman in Maine to have, let's say, a, a guy co-worker who she has to you constantly want, hear you want horse a woman things in about. Maine to, to be with somebody that just wants an honest woman, huh? Well, but you're not giving honesty. You're not giving shit. You don't have shit to offer anybody. Women are not stupid. Oh, let me let me see. I'm not I'm not your fake doctor that has so-called millions of dollars or this fake therapist that has so-called millions of dollars. In or your day. fake fucking internet r Ramona girlfriend, Lauren. This is all fake. What the hell, Lauren? How long does it take you to figure this shit out? Uh, I yes, I have a boyfriend. I've had one for years, and it's not you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I finally got the truth out of you. I'm fucking learning right the death. And you know what? I'm going to marry someone who's not a registered sex offender. I'm going to be with someone who's not who doesn't try to fuck children? Are you and you know what? Things? And you know what? And you know what? And you know what? No, <laughs> on Christmas, I was not with my mother and grandmother. That wasn't the year for us to go to my parents' house. We went to his fucking parents' house. And while we're at his fucking parents' house, you're like, hey, hey, I want to go to bathroom. And I'm like, oh, God, if your mother sees this, I don't want her to see my phone. And guess what? I'm not 24. I'm not 25. I'm in my 20s, but guess what? You never know where. But guess what? I'm older than 25. But I figured if I was going to be friends with a registered sex offender, I'd have to make it as low as I want. Oh, and guess what? The doctor, the neighbor, the neighbor's cousin, all of that, they never existed. Oh, and, 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 and finally, and finally, you want the biggest shock? My name's not Ramona. It's Tracy. Ramona Quimby. No, it's not even Tracy. Ramona Quimby is a girl from books that I used to read when I was a kid. And guess what? Your fake girlfriend is even a child, you kitty fucker. Is it worth it? Are you fucking... <laughs> you call me a kitty fucker. This is why you hooked up with Emma. You've been with Emma ever since fucking day one. Well, I've been with Emma ever since day negative 35. I've known her for I don't know how long, watching these videos of you trying to rape a kid. But the point was never for you to fall in love with me. I tried to tell you not to. I tried to tell you many times I don't want to be with you. 
So you just had to have Ramona Quimby and her eight-year-old tight pussy. I didn't even know who Ramona Quimby was. This is just... <laughs> Yeah, I would, would rather have had you as an honest friend. Lord, yeah, I tried but, to be that. You you tried. No, you didn't. You didn't Lord, be I, as honest on day one. Lord, I tried to be your friend. You told me your name was Ramona from day one. Lord, I, I, day I one. You didn't tell me you had a boyfriend. You are a horrible person. I tried to be your friend. You... You are a horrible person. You're the one that's the I might be a horrible world. person. I might be a horrible person, but I didn't steal from the elderly, and I don't and I don't have registered sex offenders trying to really rape think, a kid on my back. You really think that I was uh, that I was stole from it? I never meant to do anything that happened with that. Yeah, you never meant to do it, but you still did it. You still wore condoms. You still giggled like a little thirteen-year-old. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, sitting there, you can bring condoms. Dude, I got condoms. I got condoms. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable that you do this stuff. It's unbelievable that you would have hooked up with Emma to fucking do any of this shit. Well, I didn't try to do any of this shit. And especially to my mother. Why would you do that to my mother? I feel bad for her. So don't bring her in. Why didn't you think about that before you put a goddamn voice on the internet? I feel bad for her because she had... disgusting. That's what I feel bad for. That is so fucking disgusting. It's unbelievable. I, I and you know what? That Michelle, that real name, well, her name isn't Michelle, but I'm not gonna tell you what her real name is. I don't care what her real name is. She, she's an elderly lady that's married. That's in there, right? That, that said when it came to a point that they put your mother's uh, the voice on the internet, that's when I get so upset. I had to write to you to let you know what was going on. Lauren, I have been telling you for months, nobody from the internet wants anything to do with you. You even tried to say, well, if you don't do this, then I'll date Katie or so-and-so from the internet. I'll date this person from the internet. So you Lauren, really even tried to get me to do more on the internet. With the help of Emma. Oh, they want to like hear from you. They want to hear from you. Oh, well, you seem to like doing things. You're kidding me. <laughs> You're just as disgusting as Emma. I'm sure I am. Is that it? Did he hang up? Was that it? <laughs> Fuck you, Lauren. That was great. Ugh. Okay, guys. Lauren has hung up. That was beautiful. How did how did it feel, Ramona? How did it feel? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. This wow, tell, this guy. Tell us what you're feeling right now. Tell us what you're, what you're thinking. Oh wow, this guy is a trip. Yeah. Yeah, somebody just said we all know this isn't the end. Oh my god, I don't see what could come back out of this. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> oh hey. uh, how how's everybody feeling? Let's hear some let's hear from the crowd. The audience we have The white stuff came out. Yeah. Lauren was in denial and then he finally got upset, says Xander. Ten bucks says he calls back, says the last tanker. I need to talk to my therapist. Just found out that you were live streaming my call. So sad. Shout out to the pedophile sympathizer. Um, yeah, shout out to you. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah.
Exactly. Yeah, if you're if you're one of those people listening in who thinks you're helping Lauren out by uh, telling him about our operation here or anything that's been going on, <laughs> I'm sorry. congratulations. You're being a friend to a disgusting child rapist con man who's made his whole life uh, sucking off the uh, other people and using other people. People can't hear. People can't hear. Emma, I think you're muted or something. Can you hear Sam? Who's Sam? Yeah, can anyone hear old Sammy? Maybe. They still say they can't hear her. Do you hear Mamona? Just can't hear Ember. They're saying, yeah, yeah. We they can hear me. They can hear Ramona. They can't hear Ember. That's okay. Oh so, yeah. So um, what, one thing that has um, touched me in places that one wants to touch little girls um, is the fact that I've seen so many comments from people who they themselves or a friend of theirs has had some horrible child molestation story and, you know, seeing this kind of stuff um, makes them, kind of gives them some kind of therapeutic um, value. And to me, that really, that really means a lot. And I am, I'm happy that, that it provides that. Um, can you guys, yeah, can you guys is, hear me still? You guys hear me? Yeah, they can hear us. They they just uh, were having trouble hearing Ember. Yeah, so hopefully Ember will come back. I've, okay. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the reception that I've gotten as well from uh, people in in the group in the community that uh, it's cathartic for them and it's therapeutic for them to hear people uh, say things to a would be child rapist that uh, they wish they'd been able to say to people and uh, that's. A tremendous value, in my view. I think that's a, a legitimate uh, argument in support of uh, the "fuck them preds" side. To borrow a term from the debate over uh, last weekend. And I mean, you know, um, Lauren is Lauren is out with the general public, and you know, we. I don't want him harming kids or anything like that, or or adults even. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that this is not a changed guy. This is not a guy who is any different than he was when he got caught on Dateline. This is not a guy who is any different than any of that. The only difference is, is that his vehicles for abusing children have all been stripped away from him. Right. That's the difference. And um, his vehicles for abusing women are still there. They're, they're very much still there. And hopefully any woman who Googles any of the guys who are in Detach a Predator, but especially Warren, because he is that manipulative, and he's very manipulative. Um, and a woman who has a lower IQ might fall for that kind of stuff. He has to be yeah. out in the general public, and he has to be productive. But does that mean that he is entitled to high paying jobs and really nice homes and um, and being around people's children and having the respect of his community. No, I mean, there are certain things, as I've told him before, there are certain things that are irredeemable. And committing crimes like that against children are just one of them. Right. Yeah, I, I want to share something with, um, like, I think we can all intellectually understand where the leave them alone people are coming from. And this isn't directed at, and it certainly it's not directed at the esteemed panelists from the debate. Um, but it's something that I think the, that the hard line leave them alone people, the ones who say the poor guy's done his time or he's paid his dues. Uh, those are the people that I'm talking to now. And I just want to recount something that Ember said 
over the weekend and something that I've been saying that Ember, that a lot of people have been saying for years, which is that all we want is for this guy to, to own who he is and what he is. And it would be real simple for him to say, I wanted to fuck a little girl. And if he were willing to just own that piece of it, like I'll never be his friend, I'll never cheer for the guy, I'll never hope for his best or any of that, because he's a, he's a cipher. He's just a non-entity. He's a, a, an intrinsically bad person. But at least if he would man up enough to say, yeah, I wanted to go fuck a little girl, that would change that would change the landscape of pornography dramatically, probably put an end to it. He's never been able or willing to even go that far. That one admission, full admission of his of his uh, guilt and mm-hmm. the, the real motivating force behind what he did. And it's for that reason that we say we can't let up on the guy because as long as he's able to delude himself like that, then the world needs people to to balance that delusional evil by calling him out at every opportunity. And if this is the only way to do it, then at least it's holding into some small measure of justice. And, and, and one thing that I'd like to say to the pedophile sympathizers who are in the room, I know there's a lot of you guys, hi, um, is you know, I, I guess you guys don't think about how it would be if it was your child or if it was you who he victimized. And so it's easy to point the finger and say, well, they should just let him die. I mean, he paid it to society. No, he didn't because he still owes a widow who's in her 70s tens of thousands of dollars. So he hasn't paid his due. Um, you know, he's still going around spreading lies about what happened and trying to pass it off as if, well, Dateline was involved. Well, NBC thought, well, NBC did this, well, Dateline did this. But, you know, but, you know, what did you do? Because Dateline didn't just walk into your house and say you're on camera and arrest you. I mean, you know, think about how far you have to go in order to be on that show, you have to make contact. That's the very first thing you have to do is you actually have to be the first one to make contact with someone. And then the very first thing they do is they say their age. They're 12, they're 13, they're 14. That means one, but that didn't happen. There was a month of calls, a month of video footage, a month of pictures, a month of jerking off at the computer. That's right. And trying to scar a kid. And that alone would scar a kid. But that alone, back then, I do not think would have gotten anything more than a maybe a call from the Popo. I mean, I really don't think that that would have called, caused him to get in any trouble at all because I think back then a lot of people, and even now probably a lot of people, live out, um, let's say, deviant-type fantasies through yeah. vehicles like the Internet and like phone. Something that I, uh, a little thought exercise for everybody, and I made this point before, but it leads to what I think is a more intriguing point for people to consider. I've talked about how it took 90 minutes for Lauren from making first contact with Kayla to sending her pictures of his penis, and he was talking about coming to see her within the first three days of the chat log. The only reason it took Mm -hmm. him a month is because the decoy had to make it take that long because of the sting. But uh, there's no doubt from uh, studying the chat log that he would have gone to see her after three or four days if the opportunity had been there. So we're talking about four days. Within four days, Lauren was able to work out the ethical issue of going to see a 13-year-old for sex. Okay, He had 36 years before he ever talked to Kayla. If we see what he's able to do in four days in terms of justifying his intent to himself morally, God knows what he was able to justify to himself in those 36 years that came before. And whenever we talk about the possibility that Lauren may have done something to a child before this thing, 
I want everybody to also think about the fact that this man is clearly delusional. And that even if he says, I never did anything to a kid, just because he believes that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Because it's entirely possible that he's convinced himself that something that he did do before this thing was in some way ethically justifiable. Food for thought. Oh, no, I, I agree. I was just sending a message um, to... I'm fucking texting. No sweat. Is, uh, do we have Emma on, okay. Ember on the phone still? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Ember, there's still... <laughs> the, uh, our audience of millions is still having a little trouble hearing you. Miss Ember, caught us, Ember. So, but yeah, I, I, I want to. I'm get... on the phone, so I don't know if it's having anything to do with my my voice being so low. But this is so great. Yeah, <laughs> something. What a special night for all of us to share together. Um. Yeah, you know what? It's funny. I I was just about to it, it, I was just about to um, address something, and I see a question about it. I am not, 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 never, ever, ever going to release any duties of Lauren the butthole video. I just that's the only thing I'm not going to do. I will release everything. I will tell everything else, but I, um, I will I will let his butthole stay a secret. Um, he shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't have been sending that to well, anyone know. on earth. I'm the only one well I'm the only hey, hey, hey I'm the only one who has seen his literal asshole, okay. And I won't <laughs> Yeah, but we've all seen his face, so we've all still seen the ugliest part of him. Well that's true. I thought that was I thought that was <laughs> different. We've seen his personality. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What is right. Heisenberg it's... White talking about? Heisenberg White, what are you talking about? Oh, that guy's crazy. North Korea launched missiles over Japan. Hmm. Well, if he's right, that's troubling. Is and, he right? Uh, he. It's uh. Anyway, well, this isn't the news, so. Uh, but that is important. This is better, more important news. Anyway. Yeah, I think so, too. Let's get some comments from the chat room. Let's see here. Uh, what do we got? We got any... Uh, it's okay if you don't release that, Ramona, says Princess Kitsu. There are some things you just can't unsee. <laughs> uh, Triforce mm -hmm. says, will you just release the picture to the hacker, please? And no, uh, probably not. KK says, great job, Ramona. Your phone was hacked. Stick to that. Say, oh, thank you. Coldwater Hunter wants to know what's wrong with Lauren's pubes. <laughs> Darth Armstrong says his, hat, his asshole is a piece of shit. <laughs> Buchanan Baxter says Lauren was by far the most delusional predator. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Heisenberg White says, while Lauren is so mad, he started World War Three. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, let's why are you against releasing the photos, videos, slash videos? Uh, Phil DeGrave asks Sam Pendleton. Yep, yep, yep. That's all you people do. Um, I'm guessing he, I'm guessing he wants me to ask Ramona. Ramona, why are you against releasing the photos, slash videos? Um, I just, you know, I, even though Warren has has tried to violate, I, I guess I have like one tiny, tiny shred of respect for Warren. I. I think that that is, oh, what's the question? What will my role in the TCAP? Yes, you guys will hear from me. I'm Ramona. I created the Ramona character and the doctor and the neighbor and the neighbor's cousin. And the the therapist was a brainstorm of, of um, Ember and I. And it was um, my idea to hire Sam. You're welcome, Sam. You can pay me any time now. <laughs> I'll get that check right out to you. It's going to be uh -huh. on Lauren Armstrong's bank, so it'll be good to catch. Uh -oh. Is it going to be a limit of $300? Uh, <laughs> no, it's going to be, how much did uh, Nikki steal from him? It's going to be that amount. You know, Nine thousand. Supposedly. Nine thousand. <laughs> Supposedly. 
Um, yeah, let's see. What else do we have here? They want Dustin. Who would you like to see next? Who, if you guys could have uh, Ramona work her magic on another Predator, any Predator from the Predaverse, who would be your next choice? I've already seen uh, a shout-out for Dustin. Somebody would want want you to go after Dustin. Who else? Oh, God. You, oh, gosh. Ramona, go after. Thank you, Zachary. Thank you for that wonderful compliment. Nick Bagels. Like Wait, Nick Bagels, your girlfriend shops at the same vegan bakery as I do. Which which one? Which one? Which one? Nick Bagels, which vegan bakery? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. In the meantime, Nick Bather says Shinster. He'd like you to see you work over Shinster. Coke winner says Jeff Stacy. Michael Hamilton wants to see James Klein. Another vote for Jeff Stacy. Mickey Mouse, which is uh, Donald Morrison. Um, oh my God, Nick Bagels! Your girlfriend goes to vegan treats. I love that place. Why is it so freaking far away? Oh my God, they're amazing. Heisenberg anyway. White wants <laughs> Wester back next. Coldwater Hunter wants Warwicker next. John Wesley Elliott, D Mac, Jeff Stacy. I think D Mac and Jeff Stacy are probably the top two, the two predators that uh, most people would like to see a Project Ramona unleashed on. Dr. Wolin, yeah, that would be good. Resta Cruz would be, I think that one would just be sad. He would just be crying the whole time. David Schumacher. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Stacy wins. Jeff, St- I don't, Ramona, are you, how familiar are you with Jeff Stacy? Um, how was I at? Um, <laughs> I've only heard some sound, but actually I've, I've seen all of the episodes of PCAP, um, but I yeah. have Stacey, not- good boy, you, you- you need to make that your next project. I'll fund it. Oh, gosh. I'll, I'll fund it out of all the money I made as a therapist. But, but see, the funny thing is, is that this was never meant to be a project. This was literally meant to be, to be me being nice to this guy. And for months and months and months and months and months, um, I talked to him. And then... You and realize that he's a disgusting child. And, got all, and, of, uh, and got all sorts of drunken stuff that that he sent me. All sorts of beautiful drunken stuff that he sent me. And then I reached out to Amber and I said, "Guess what?" And she was like, "Are you Ramona?" And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's give a round of applause to both uh, Ramona and Ember. These are the two architects of this project. These are the masterminds that have, that made it happen. And uh, we got to take our hats off to Miss Ramona for all the countless hours she spent on the phone with this man over the last year, putting up with his nonsense. Yay! Thank, thank you, Sam. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have... <laughs> I looked and looked for the Lauren footage over and over again after it had been deleted. And then I found your interview and asked about it, and you were the one to let me know what had happened to the footage. And then after that, I saw one of Crestfallen's parody videos, and I thought, hey, I could do that, and I really want to do that. So I jumped in with both feet and decided that I wanted to get new Lauren content also, and I did. So thank you so much, because if it weren't for you being the catalyst of the community, um, well, you know, you the bridge. So it's it's I- great to have been caught up with all of these great people and some of these know nothings with assholes for mouths can keep farting out of them because the good people will always be around and make themselves known. Well, I appreciate those kind words, but uh, Ember, if it weren't for you, modern pornography wouldn't exist. We would still be sucking on the the uh, dried up teats of the lorngasm and uh, whatever other <laughs> feeble material. We would Our entire uh, access to new information would consist of three RSO pictures a year. So you are uh, you're the reason that modern pornography exists, and uh, thank you. Remote- I'm happy to have been something to do with the book of. Um, we we're calling it the New Testament of pornography. So Ramona's entry must be like the Book of Mormon equivalent, right? Oh, something like that. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I don't. Uh, you know, back about a year ago when this was all different. They uh, they pushed for the Book of Durango to be the pornography equivalent. Uh, I got a good question from Exalted One, and Exalted One, I got your email today, by the way. Thank you very much for that. I will respond. But uh, Exalted One says, will this 
and all the other unreleased vids go up on YouTube? Well, we have to get that answer about all the unreleased stuff from uh, Ms. Ramona. I can say that this video, I probably will take it down for now. I've already made the other video private, the live stream from a couple of weeks ago that was on my channel. The reason for that is um, we we do need to lay low for a little bit, a little bit because Lauren, having been made aware of a number of things, probably um, the best thing to do is to lay low for a little while. Um, I'll let Ember ultimately be the decider on that, though, of course. But um, that's probably what will happen. That's my prediction. But as for yeah. the other information, all the other material, that's Ramona's uh, Ramona's question to answer. Yeah, it's likely, as far as my stuff is concerned, that uh, it'll be released in clips because. I know from my comments and, you know, during the live streams and private messages on Facebook that sometimes it's difficult to listen to a seven-hour call, even in parts, because it's something that people will listen to in the background and might miss a gem because, you know, they're completing an assignment. So I'm thinking of releasing just the good stuff, the clips, um, you know, from what I have. And I wanted to address a quick question uh, from Coldwater Hunter who asked, if Lornography was dead now. And to that yeah. I answer with, uh, you know, Lauren has ascended into the heavens. But uh, <clears throat> just as Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John did with the Gospels, we're going to be looking for him in the skies for 200 years and writing about it. Uh, and I don't believe that it will ever be dead as long as creative, hilarious shit like what Arrested Development just came out with um, keeps coming. Here? I don't know if he was able to make it, but he is one to whom I will be sure a copy of this goes. Because I know Ramona enjoyed that video, and my mom loved it. She said, is the baloney coming out of his crotch? I said, yeah. She says, ew, it has, it has that all, that white stuff that baloney has on it. But from Lauren, it's probably yeast. So she loves to make fun of huh. Lauren, too. It's a family affair. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good that it that it brings families closer together and um and introduces people to friends and yeah, you know a lot of real legitimate relationships have been born out of tea capitalism and pornography. It's astounding. I think that's it's, beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's it's great that these horrible subhuman human beings that um our collective fascination with their evil and ineptitude ends up yielding so many positives for in the lives of decent human beings. I, I agree. I, I absolutely agree. I mean, it's it's wonderful. Um, the the thing that I joke about is just don't tell them how you met. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And by the way, for, uh, to add on to what Ember said. Uh, if there's some intrepid uh, young actress out there who decides to catfish Lauren like a week from now, we all know that he will 100% go for it. So oh, we, may have, we may have another Ramona project in like 10 days, starting up in like 10 days when he falls for it again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've tried to help the guy. I mean, I've told him, get off the Internet. I've given him great advice. Uh, he just he just doesn't he just doesn't listen, and I mean he's he's just set in his way of destruction so much so that he won't listen to reason. Lauren, get off the internet. Lauren, focus on yourself. Lauren, do this, do that. Think about your future. Think about your life. Stop worrying about what someone who's half your age is doing. You know, like where were you last night? Lauren, don't worry about what I'm doing. Focus on yourself and try to give him tips and hints on how to do just that and it always fell on deaf ears and you know you you can only help a person yeah, like they they don't want to help. i mean i'm in physical therapy right now for my <laughs> knee <laughs> i'm in physical therapy right now for my knee if i decide what? that what? while i you know Nine months from now. So while we're skating, even though know, I just had a new ACL put in a week and a half ago, my physical therapy is wearing me out. They can't help you. I decide that I'm going to use the wheelchair with my knee. I'm going to walk without crutches or not use the wheelchair at this time. 
They can't no. ask me the same thing. They're trained to be able to help me. They have the qualifications to be able to help me. But if I don't answer their help and do what they say, oh, hi, Mr. Wongberger. Hello, PT, Mr. Wongberger. Um, if I don't listen to them and do what they say and come to my sessions, then there's nothing at all that they can do. And, and that's really similar with Lauren, whereas I've tried to help him, tried to give him advice, um, tried to tell him things that would make his life easier, and he refuses to hear it. There's, there's really nothing that, that I could do at that point. Yeah, what's ironic is, that, is how much potential there actually was for Lauren to take the experiences he's had with this community and use them to better himself. Some of the things the therapist said to him were things he needed to hear. Some of the things the therapist said to him were things we needed to hear. But some oh, of the Mr. things were... Oh, Mr. Wallberger, I'm sorry. He said... Oh, he wrote a sweet comment. Where is it? It's going so fast. Um, I'm sad now. I thought the knee stuff was part of the act. Nope, not one little tiny, tiny bit. I really did injure my knee. Um back in 2015, and I just had a new ACL put in, and it's been a long road. And I, I injured, temporarily injured the other knee, which prompted me to really get good medical attention on the first knee because they weren't really, they just basically said, oh, you might have torn a meniscus and kind of dismissed me. But then they saw, nope, the ACL was almost completely torn off. So, um, yep, that is real. And, you know, and, and with Lauren, there, there are some things that I did tell him that are real, like that, you know, of course, I'm a vegan. Um, I didn't shield him and completely make up a new character. I mean, obviously, I didn't want him to know my name and certain things like that. But, um, you know, I was I was transparent on a lot of things and, and told him, you know, some things about me, myself. Right. Buchanan Baxter wants to know, Ramona, what are you going to do with all this freed up time you're gonna about, about to have now that Lauren's gone? Oh, oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do myself. <laughs> Any I don't know. I might have to go rape a child. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Isn't that what people no, do when they're bored? <laughs> no, it's just what they do when they get screwed over on pasta dishes and meatballs. And I think there were some you deviled know, eggs in there somewhere. And, and that's the thing. Remember when I was telling, like, I mean, it was a true story that my fucking second grade teacher did not crack open that piñata. My mom got us a really nice piñata, well, me, for my class. In second grade, she got us a really, really nice piñata, had all sorts of candy inside. And she was like, oh, this is so cute. I'm not going to crack it open. Although she she probably did crack it open and took the candy home to her kids. But, um you know, she's like, oh, this is so cute, I'm not going to crack it. You know, and I'm so pissed off about that right now, talking about it. So, you know, maybe to make up for that, I don't know. You should rape a kid, maybe, I think. Well, no, 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 I think maybe I should steal $30,000 from some senior citizens. What do you guys think? Like, I why mean. Don't go, why don't you go halfway and do half of each, steal no, $15,000 from somebody and just flirt with a kid? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's that's, that's a great idea. Like, yeah, I mean, because, you know, I was screwed over, and I'm really messed up from that. So, yeah, not your fault, man. Yeah. Heisenberg White has a great question. At any point, and you can be honest about this. Now, okay, I will. On, on, at any point, on any level, did Lorna ever genuinely charm you? Yes, and, and, and I will be absolutely honest. There have been many, 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 many times where I have enjoyed talking to Lauren. There have been uh, there have been many times where I've enjoyed talking to Lauren. Um, as far as charm, let me think about that word, charm. Um, While you think about that word, let me answer SMU Johnson's question real quick. Serious question for Sam, is Lauren stupid? Uh, <laughs> Lauren found out today that uh, the girl he's been talking to for nine months, that this, all of this has been getting posted online, that Ember, who pretended to be his best friend, was actually working for the other side. And after all of that, was halfway on the hook to being talked back into continuing a relationship with Ramona before she finally revealed it. Yeah, I'll that's you true. Guys decide. I'll let you guys decide if Lauren is stupid or not. Oh, yeah, and he thought that five different decoys were the same person. 
Freckle Pat is is really is really telling the truth. Lauren was pretty lucky to have a to have Ramona as his state. Could have been so much worse. Legitimately tried to positively influence him, and that's absolutely true. Um. Lauren didn't actually hang up on the money. It was just all being uh, disconnected. But anyway, that is act- that is absolutely true. I, I did try to positively influence his life. And, um, you know, I mean, there would be times when I would say to myself, like, why am I doing this? Like, why, you know, like, why am I sitting down and breaking it down to him? And he'd say many times, you know, you nobody else has ever broken it down like this. Nobody else has ever sat down and broken it down for me so that I could understand it. And I would say at times, like, why am I doing this? <laughs> and I, I could never understand the why, but I just, I just, it just, you know, seemed like the right thing to do. But I say all these things on, let's say, Wednesday, and then Friday he'd, call, he'd get drunk and call me a bitch and a whore. You know. Yeah, he's a classy guy, man. <laughs> he's a he's a class act. Somebody said something good. Um, I was trying to find it. Okay, hold on. Oh, Let me address oh, this. I, I hold on, it. hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just real quick. Mr. Okay. Mr. Fresh wants to know: Can you build a trust? That's just a, a, <laughs> a joke. Is that okay. uh, what Lauren was hired to do for Betty? Okay. Yeah. Sprinkle cake Von. Sprinkle cake Von Truffle Fluff, which sounds like a delicious name. Question for Ramona, who was really keeping you up all fucking night? I swear to um, whatever you want me to swear on, that I legitimately was watching Forensic Files those nights that I said I was watching Forensic Files. There are, I love that show, that's one of my favorite shows. It creeps me out, it gets me excited. There are about there are over 400 episodes of that show and I watched all 400 episodes of that show in roughly a month, roughly like the month of June going into July, some, somewhere in June going into July. Um, after I had hurt my knee, you know, I had nothing else to do but watch forensic files at night. And so I legitimately would stay up until four or five, six in the morning and having started at like what? 10 at night, just watching episodes of Forensic Files and then Googling the um, the murder victim and Googling the murderer and the family and the detectives. Introduce. Gotta give, gotta give a shout out to um, Mike V who came in to the chat. Good to see you, Mike V. Another last, super talented T Campus. The last tanker, you said Ramona, are there any situations you would have liked to introduce and put Lauren through you would like to introduce oh, are you saying um situations that I would like be a little more specific. Um, with that question, the last tanker. Um, 
By the way, I don't remember who said it because I was, you know, um, arguing with Lauren and it was scrolling. But the person who said that this is how they were ending their vacation gave me a good laugh. So thank you for that. That's funny. Um, Sword and Scale Podcast. Who's that? Um, I think Lauren is worse in person. Well, I've told Lauren before that he has been as abusive with me as the situation would allow, right? Because he, the situation allows for texting abuse. He's done that. The situation allows for um, phone abuse. He's done that. The situation allows for calling abuse. He's done that. The situation doesn't allow for verbal or physical, or it does allow for verbal abuse. He's done that. It doesn't allow for physical abuse. And that's the only kind pretty much that he hasn't done. Would he be that way in person? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's anything's possible. Jacob Danforth says, can you leave this, hello, Sammy, can you leave this video online for a couple hours before it goes private? I, uh, I probably won't. And I hope that doesn't disappoint too many people, but um, at this juncture, the best thing we can do is keep a low profile. The good news is that everything is recorded. It's all permanent. It's all backed up and we will be rolling out. We, um, some people have made some suggestions about non YouTube avenues for distribution. And, um, certainly I'll look into those for my part of it. Obviously I, I um, am not the, um, am not the, um, custodian for all of the material. Or the but uh, the the stuff that I have um, we'll look into getting out to trusted into trusted hands. But uh, as for the master curator, Miss Ramona, she'll have to decide what she wants to do in terms of distribution. But um, it'll all be coming. It'll all it's all forthcoming. I, I think it's I think it's going to be better to have some of the stuff edited down anyway. Um, one of the things that Ramona and I had talked about was that it, it is difficult to have to improvise and um, and sort of uh, roll with Lauren's reactions and things like that, and it makes it hard to script it or structure it and things <laughs> like that. So we don't always know what's coming. And there is a lot of repetition and a lot of dead air close to it when you have something like this. Now that we have presumably the project completed and ostensibly all the material, it's, it Hello? would be a lot easier for us to, to go back. And Miss Ember has returned. Oh, shit. Welcome Sorry back, about that. <laughs> I thought it was oh. on mute. Mr. Bagels asks, Ramona, are you part of the hashtag natural black hair brigade? No, I'm not because, <laughs> and um, my brother, I mean, boyfriend is here. Like, he overheard that and he laughed um, because he knows that when I don't, if I, you know, when I don't relax my hair, my hair, at least, I always say Moses couldn't part my hair. It's, just not happening. And I see all these beautiful black women with their afros and their natural hair. And I'm like, yeah, most of you guys don't have 4C hair, do you? Because, well, 4C hair is like the kind that I have that really is like the opposite of straight and long and doesn't break off. Um, so, yeah, so for me, natural hair won't happen. But I admire all of the sisters and the beautiful women who do. Um, let's see, what else have you guys sent to me? Yeah, for those of y'all, obviously, we don't have a monopoly on this, and there are people that have all these recordings, and hopefully people will be respectful in distributing. For, for the record, my name is not Sam Pendleton, and uh, so it doesn't... Is it Wham father. Slendleton, or is it... Um, no, Slendleton was my father. Um, is it... He was a stern man. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, let me think. I know it. I know it. I know it. Um, is it um, Barry yeah. Pendleton, Super Horse Bank ah. Pendleton, Super Horse Bank Pendle Schlong? It's all of that. It's everything you just said. It's Barry Pendleton, Barry Horse, whatever you just said. That's what it is. Fine. Everybody knows now. And for those of y'all who don't, we had... Uh, Viner, the guy's name was Viner. My <coughs> Barry's Barry's last name was Viner. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm posting in the chat right now who didn't pick up on the joke that um, Viner is a, an alternative pronunciation for Wiener. 
because uh, we thought that would be cute and lowbrow to have the guy's name be Wiener. But, of course, to, to pronounce it Viner, knowing that Lauren would never catch on. <laughs> what else here? Um, did, did I... Did, are anyone, you did anyone ever tell Lauren he could have been an offender just for the webcam shows? Yeah, probably about a 1,000 people, Ken. That kind of stuff goes right over his head. Are there any ideas for other characters or situations to bring up that you had in mind to try out but didn't get a chance to? Example, introducing the high school sweetheart idea to him. Good idea, the last um, tanker. Uh, let me think. As far as characters, um, boyfriend had thought of a good one, but I can't think of what he had thought of. But um, there was a, there was, uh, I think he had thought of the idea of a, of the, the the doctor's nephew, and that idea played out for for a little bit. That was just a couple weeks. Um, other than that, I did think of like maybe introducing a like a female lesbian friend. Um, what else? There were like there were a couple other characters I thought of, but the characters really created themselves. For instance. The doctor created himself, and, and I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, but just hear me out. Even though the doctor didn't exist, I did have an image of what he would look like. <laughs> and by the way, um, well, he's not here. Arrested Development, he looks nothing like that one. Um, he, he, he had a full head of hair, unlike the, the guy on the Ramona Visits Lauren video. But the, the characters really would come to, they would create themselves while I was talking to Lauren. And when the, the doctor created himself, for instance, when Lauren was yelling at me and telling me that I wasn't allowed to have guy friends, um, I had said, you know, really the only guy friend who I hang out with right now or something like that is the guy from my aqua aerobics class. And yes, I was taking aqua aerobics. And, um, and no, there were no hot doctors in the class. No, 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 not just the opposite. But, um, and so I, I saw how, like, crazy he acted and how abusive he got when he was mentioned that I knew that, you know, I have a friend in, the, in my alpha aerobics class that I knew that he had to be brought on. And he said, well, your friend is stupid. Um, he insulted my friend for hitting on me or something like that. And so I said, well, he's not stupid. He's a doctor. And then he went from being a doctor to being a, like, renowned doctor who writes books and that kind of thing. So the characters really created themselves. And the neighbor, the neighbor was a good friend of my brother's and my brother moved in because like I had to have my brother move in because, uh, or say that my brother moved in because um, my real life guy did not like me having, like not like, did not like having to, tiptoe around his own house and I said yeah you know that's right you shouldn't have to tiptoe around your own house so that I can talk to a registered sex offender um say what you want and you're my brother and so he won't be alarmed if he if he hears a male voice but Lauren did make sure to tell me on several occasions that I need to get my fucking brother out of there my fucking brother needs to move out he needs to get his own place classy so yeah Frankel. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle Cake Von Truffle Bluff says, <laughs> I got to be honest, I have no idea what Durango Mango is all about. Can anyone explain? Briefly, uh, Durango Mango is, yeah, Betty. That's Betty, the uh, lady that uh, Lauren stole a ton of money from. And we all, we all, we always um, speculated that he used that money to buy the truck, the white Dodge with Gway on the bottom. White truck. And fund his trip down to Nashville, and I'm still not convinced that he didn't. But he claims that he didn't. He claims that his uh, brood of viper siblings stole that money from him just as soon as he stole it from Mona. I mean, from uh, Betty. Oh, an ex-boyfriend character. Did I have any? Well, it was funny because I had told him that I liked a guy in middle school whose last name was Armstrong. And that is true. I was head over heels for this guy. 
And of course, Lauren staying true to being jealous with Derek types or jealous of Derek types got upset and was jealous and wanted to know more details about this guy. Like, you know, well, how long did you like him? What did he look like? And I'm like, Lauren, he was like, I mean, I was like 11 at the time. And so was he. I mean, we were kids, but that's what you like. Um, but anyway, on to the next question. Um, <laughs> Mike V asked, has Betty shown up lately? Yeah, she was actually on the other day for, uh, the debate for part of the debate and uh i've seen her in a few of the live streams so she she checks in pretty regularly she still hates lauren because she's still a smart lady uh, ramona are you light skinned or dark skinned medium i am i am african-american black whatever you want to call it <laughs> that is me um don't say whatever you want to call it to Lauren. He'll say something awful. Oh, I know. You know, I, I have to give him props. That is the one thing that he never said. I'm sure he's saying it now, but he never said it to my face or to my text messaging. Um, I have a, I have a, I, never mind. I have a, I have a funny story along those lines, but I decided I'm not going to share it. So. Nick Bagel's amazing answer, 10 of 10, would listen again. What was the amazing answer? Um, what's, uh, did Lauren's reaction to the truth surprise you at all? No. Um, kind of what I expected. Uh, let's see. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Benfresh says, did you get the chance to meet up with Betty Sam? Not yet. Not yet. I haven't made it that far north on the, on the East Coast yet, Mr. Benfresh, since meeting her. But, uh, one day, one day we're going to party together. Sam, can you please explain the difference between effing and making love? Um, <laughs> I can explain the difference. I'm not going to. I'm concerned for you if you don't know the difference. Send me an email. We'll discuss it privately. Have you ever listened to any of Candace Sella's prank calls of Lauren and other people? Uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't mm -hmm. listened to all of them just because he does so many. But um, when he was lower volume, before he really went into full-on prank call mode and was putting them up like every day, I listen to a bunch of them. I think they're great. They're, they're hilarious. I do wish that, um, you know, there were a lot of good sound, usable sound bites in, in the phone calls, especially once we got all six of the phone calls. And there was a lot of untapped material in there that would have been great for prank calls. But the coding of soundboard is a laborious, time-consuming process, so I can understand why once the soundboard is, was already created, it was just easy. <laughs> I love this question from Exalted One. Ramona, do you actually say thing one and thing two in real life, or was it just for Lauren's benefit? And it's so funny because I do say that in real life, but I never noticed it until um, I... I don't go on the TCAP forums or anything. I don't go on the Facebooks. But I um, have to put on my headphones, so hang on a second, because my Bluetooth is about to die. Right on. Well, well, then one says that. Ramona's having technical difficulties, so I will answer that interesting and most requested question shortly. Dana Mason has a good answer to um, whoever it was that asked me the question. Of, oh, the tri was it Triforce? I think it was Triforce. Anyway, Dana Mason says, uh, uh, fucking is just raw passion and making love is a connection of bodies, I guess. So that's a very insightful and highly original answer. Thank you, Dana Mason, for that. And get thank the chance you, to meet up with Derek. Thank you, Dana Mason. All right, hang on. You want it inside of you, Zachary Stanford? Like, That's a good question. All right. You see you, Darth Armstrong. Sometimes she would say A and B. <laughs> Mike V says, Steph JC, your username has me cracking up. That is a great screen name, Steph JC. Big ups for that. All right. Ramona is back here to answer that question that, I see so much about. So, so anyway, so um, one day I just, I did a 
Google search about the whole Lauren thing and everything. And, and can you guys hear me, by the way? I think they can. I can hear you. Okay, good. good, good. Um, and so I, it, it completely went over my head. I saw in somebody's signature they had... Um, like it said something like Ramona says, and then there was like a thing one, and I was like, what? And I didn't get it. And then at the same time, like my boyfriend and you guys started like making jokes about how I say it, and I didn't, you know, I didn't realize that I said it until like people would say things while I was saying it. And um, I do say that, and I got it from my mother. She says it, like she'd say. Ramona, thing one, such a thing, such a thing, thing two, such a thing, such a thing, thing. And so now whenever I'm making a point or talking to people, I say, okay, so first of all, thing one, blah, 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 thing two. And so I do say that in real life all the time. And I think it's funny that you guys caught on to that as if it was like my little catchphrase. Indeed. Um, can I finally can I finally tell us can can you finally tell us the circumstances of when you saw the doctor naked in my dreams? <laughs> and yeah, people want to know how did you see the doctor naked? <laughs> well, what I had said was. Um, did, were you guys here for that call of where I said how I saw him naked? Sam, can you tell me what they say? Like when, when, um, were they here for the? No, call I or? never put that part. Sorry, that part uh, of the call out. So Ramona saw the doctor naked. This is what happened. So Ramona got home one day and um, she saw that her brother's car was, was in the parking garage, so she knew that he was home, and she went up to her apartment, and she heard someone taking a shower, and she assumed that it was her <laughs> she was, she assumed that it was her brother, and <laughs> she goes, she went into the bathroom, and here he is showering, there's clothes on the floor, and she grabs the shower curtain. She grabs the shower curtain and grabs him to, like, barrel hug both of them, hug him around the shower curtain. But with the doctor's massively strong penis, I mean arms, he flung the shower curtain off thinking that the apartment was being ransacked. And there he was standing naked with his big, huge, gigantic, massive submarine-sized Poor stink. And Ramona was like, oh, my God, you have such a big penis. No, she didn't. But she um, she was, like, embarrassed, and they were embarrassed, and they just both looked away. And um, apparently the doctor and her brother had been swimming in the pool, and he went up to take a shower while the brother ran down and grabbed the mail. And so that's how that happened. And how did the doctor see you in your panties? Well, that's an interesting one. So, see, what had happened there is we were all about to get in the hot tub. And and I was hanging out in one room with the doctor's sister. And I said, okay, you know, I'm going to go in the bathroom. And she said, okay, I'll be right in. And so um, Ramona heard a knock in the door, and she said, come in. Mona was only wearing a thong, and she was bent over. And she, and as the door opened, she looked up, and she was, t- she was topless and looking at the doctor. And he was like, "Oh no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry." And she's like, "Oh, that's okay, that's okay." And he closed the door, and he had seen her bent over in her thong, and then he got a full frontal view of Mona's breast. <laughs> Good old fashioned justice says, uh, would he have been comfortable, would Lauren have been comfortable revealing his baldness to Kayla? Or if he got that far, would he have been totally naked but for his hat? Which is a great question and probably, I think it's one that, that a lot of people have speculated on because he only revealed his baldness uh, that we know of uh, three times during the thing. 
one time where they re where they refer to it in the chat log, and and uh, two times where he's on camera uh, without his hat, so we know he had his hat off for those times. Uh, but he but he says um, at one point in the chat log, the only reason I have my hat off is because I it was in the night that he was sick. So he um, said the only reason I have my hat on is because I'm sick. If I felt okay, I w I would have my hat on. LOL. He liked to use LOL mm -hmm. occasionally. Occasional, uh, just occasionally. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so he was uh, obviously very, very hung up on the fact that he was uh, balding, bald. Bits as in tits and bips and dick. That sounds like a rap. Bips as in tits, tits as in tits, bips as in tits, bips as in I have no clue. What does that mean? Did you ever manage to find out? I don't know that. Question. I don't know. I didn't hear him say that. I don't remember that one. And the wardrobe malfunction that led to <laughs> and the wardrobe malfunction that led to Lauren seeing the doctor's horse stink. Well, Ramona saw the doctor's horse stink when um, they were in the hot tub, and like he had stood up and his like speedo kind of fell down. And there was his horse digging. <laughs> Ramona, do you want do you still want to make to marry Corey, aka Brick Mayor? I don't know who that is. Um It was one of, who is she talking about? Sam, how is your relationship with Bay Shaman? Things with Bay Shaman are great. He just, uh, you know, for reasons that every, most people understand now, he has uh, moved away from the TCAP stuff. But, yeah, he and I uh, swap messages all the time. And um, we're actually planning on doing a collaborative project, and that's being held up by me. He's told me he's ready to go whenever I am, and I just haven't gotten to it because, as one or two people in the community know already, I tend to – let too much time elapse between projects, but he and I have a, a couple of cool ideas that we're cooking up. So uh, stay tuned for those. But yeah, he's good, man. He, he's he's old shaman, man. If you guys aren't supporting shaman, you're wrong. Go support the shaman. Somebody asked how I didn't go insane. Um, I. Oh well, that's a good question. Um. Eh, let me come back to that one because I don't know. I'm still not convinced that I'm not insane. Let me come back to that one. Did I listen to the police interview? Yes, I did. Let's see. Shaman's nude and thinking bad thoughts, says Zachary. <laughs> um, Thank you, Sprinkle I'm Lime Cake. Mildly curious to know how you know that. Sam Pendleton, when will you finish Chapter 3? Huh, that's an interesting question, Captain Spaz. I don't think anybody's asked me that before. Uh, to those who are curious, to the three of you who, are, who care people, uh, as to why I haven't finished reading Chapter 3, the reason is because um, Chapter 3 was intended to be read erotically. Some of you may have heard the preview that I posted for it. And <laughs> the problem with that is that it's like 15 pages and the joke is a one trick joke. And I don't relish the idea of trying to read half a Lawrence book erotically, but beyond that, I don't relish the idea of doing the requisite editing to get the music right and everything like that, because it's just like, you kind of get the joke already with the preview. I don't know if we need 15 pages of that. So I've been counseling with, my creative advisor, Yap, and um, I'm thinking about maybe doing Chapter 3 another way, going another way with it, and um, either saving the erotic stuff for a shorter chapter or just not doing it at all because <laughs> I don't really enjoy it. But anyway, that's the answer to the question there, uh, Captain Spaz. Chapter 3 is coming sometime soon, I mostly promise. 
You're not going to read it erotically now. Mr. Wongberger, it's just, it's like 15 pages of the same joke. And I don't know if, any, if anybody wants to hear me read anything erotically for 15 pages, especially prose as lacking in believability and flow as Lauren's is. Uh, where's the next question? Did Lauren ever get mad at Ramona's gynecologist for seeing her vagina? Lauren did explicitly tell me not too long ago that I need to be see that I need to see female gynecologists. I don't need to have a male gynecologist. So there's that. And he told me that when he had a fit about the doctor seeing my knee. <laughs> Mr. Wong, where he says, you're ta- Sam, you're talking to this community about not wanting to overextend a joke. Consider your audience. That's a fair point. <laughs> no, <laughs> and Captain Spaz says, when will you release Chapter 4? Um, well, Chapter 4 would definitely be coming out before Chapter 3 because that seems like the reasonable course of action. So look for, uh, look for Chapter 3 four soon and chapter three a long time from now. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that compliment. Wonderful compliment. Yes, to the interview question, um Ramona. Cold ah, I'm a little bit I want you <laughs> Coldwater says I want you to read my microwave instructions erotically. <laughs> uh, my days of reading appliance instructions erotically are over. I had too many bad experiences with that in my late teens. I don't know what that means. Uh, well, the well, Lord ever did a transgender. Well, what were they? What genitalia were they born with? Captain Spatz says, Sam Pendleton, I want you to take my moderation powers away because I can't stop posting the same joke. Okay, Captain Spatz, I can I can do that for you. Ramona, did you talk sexy to Lauren when you guys first started talking? I will say this. I never, ever, ever, ever talked sexy to Lauren. And I will say this as well. He tried to do the whole Kayla thing with me. You know, do you, do you like my penis? Do you think it's... <laughs> um, you know, what kinds of things, you know, what kinds of sexual things do you want us to do? And I'm like, um, shake hands, that's about it, maybe. And, um, you know, what, um, basically, you know, would you would you suck my dick if you were here right now? Would you give me a hand? Like, I mean, he'd ask all sorts of these kinds of questions, and I'd find clever ways to dodge them. Um, well, there was this one day where he was told that I was going up to New York City with some of my girlfriends, and I was leaving town that night, and I did leave town. I was staying over in a hotel and going away, and he was told I was going to New York City with my girlfriends. So what does Lauren do? While I'm in the vehicle heading there, and he knew I was in the vehicle heading there and not driving, he sent me a dick pic. And so, and this was one of the first ones that he ever sent me. And by one of the first ones he ever sent me, I mean, this was maybe number 20. And out of like a thousand dick pics, number 20 is one of the first ones. So he sends me that picture. And I kind of like laughed. I'm like, you're goofy. And was just going to go on hanging out. It was Friday. I had fun plans. So all while I'm... I'm heading up there, you know, is it big enough for you, baby? Do you think you're going to be happy with it? Do you like the length of it? I mean, he literally played 50 questions about his penis. And so I'd say, yes, 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 yes. And so he, he started saying, you know, don't show it to any of your friends. And I didn't respond to that message within like two minutes. So he said, you're not going to show it to any of your friends, are you? And I said, no, Lauren. Well, apparently Lauren decided to thereafter get drunk because I guess I was out of town, and so he decided to, like, down 50 beers or something. And so that whole night turned into, and, and I didn't see this until the next day when I checked my phone, hundreds of text messages. You showed my picture. You're cheating. You're making fun of me. You showed my picture around to everyone, blah, blah, blah. You did this. You did that. And I started getting called all sorts of names, and you're doing this and that, and 
all because I didn't message him when he knew I was away um, to continue the conversation for hours long about his penis. Well, he's a sweetheart. Uh, yes. Cassie Saz wants me to say now. She wants to say the word now. N O W now. I hope that satisfies you. Jacob, no, I probably won't leave it up just for that reason, just so that people can't download it. Listen, we're under no delusions that somebody's probably not recording it as it streams. That possibility is that's a possibility, and we understand that risk, but we're just trying to minimize. There's, there's nothing anybody can do with any of it. We understand that, but uh, the best strategy is just to keep a low profile uh, until, until everybody's a little bit more comfortable releasing. So we probably it will not be up for half an hour after the stream, but I can assure you that all of the good content will hit the streets in the future for everybody's enjoyment. My boyfriend, what he thinks about this to answer Cassidy Armstrong's question is, he went from, you guys are all crazy, you guys are insane, you guys are following and worshiping a pedophile, to, what are you doing? Like, I don't understand this, I don't understand this, to, oh, it's funny, you know, whatever. I mean, do your thing. So what's he up to now? So he, um, so he's been a really good sport about it. Yeah, Lauren could sue for, um, I'm sure that there's, I'm not going to speculate on what Lauren could sue on because chances are he or one of his people are listening and we'll give them the idea since they're not smart enough to think of it on their own. But even if Oh, you know what? I know what he could sue for. He could sue for $30,000. Now, where could that go, Sam? Hmm, $30,000. I don't go? know, but. I need to try to raise $30,000 real quick just in case he does sue. Unfortunately for me, there's a beautiful retired couple that just moved in. Oh, that's brilliant. Hey, hey, tell them that you have a septic business. Yeah, I'll tell them I'll do some work on their house. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Okay, but listen, after I, I'm going to after I'm gonna swindle this money out of them, I'm going to have to go somewhere else to lay low, another <laughs> part of the country. <laughs> like, uh, like I should go to like a big city where I could blend <laughs> in. Let me think. I've always loved over music. Delaware. No, I've always loved music. It should be some place that has a thriving and vibrant music scene. Maybe even a place where I could catch some uh, karaoke action and uh, who knows, maybe break into the industry that way. That's a good idea. I've got it. I've got it. What? What Branson, where? Branson, Missouri. I'll go to Branson. Oh, that's wonderful. And you could start a music career. I mean, but wait, you know, you you have to be almost forty to do that. Yeah. That's true. I have a lot of hair, too. I do have a thick, full head of hair. You got to get rid sure of some of that. Qualified. And then uh, should I, what should I do for personal relationships? Should I try to meet someone online or something? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Like, yeah, go in a chat room. Okay. You can say it was an adult chat room later. Um, But, like, just go in a chat room and, I don't know, I mean... Maybe that's message around. Look for, look for... You know what you should do? You should look for someone who has, like, a screen name, like, Chewy Girl, um, I don't know, 2005, maybe. Sounds good. And, Sounds and good then, you know, she, she might be around 12 or 13. Um, hey, I've got, some, I've got some pictures of my genitals. Should I, what should I do with these, all these pictures I have of my genitals? Well, should I send them to anyone? Well, as a, as a girl who was once, um... 12 and 13 years old, I know that 12 and 13 year old girls appreciate nothing more than getting the genitalia of a guy who's old enough to be their father. Hmm. I think their parents like that too. Yeah, yeah, learn. their parents really like that. You know what they really like? Is, Lord. is when, oh, sorry, they like it when you turn your cam on and show them on video instead. And if you wouldn't mind turning around and showing everyone your little asshole, that's every woman's dream. Uh, and don't forget to take a picture of your turds in the toilet, because I heard that that's something that one sexy man we all know likes to do. This and is make hot. Sure How you... come? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Nobody make sure you do something to make the white stuff come out. Those what are the best pictures. 
Yeah. yeah it wouldn't take much Did Lauren send you one of those? Did he send you a white stuff picture, Ramona? Wait, you got one? No, I never did. Oh, no, I, I never got one. I don't one. make the white stuff come out. I'm a full-grown mm-hmm. woman. Let me just ask, is, is Lauren listening in, or is he going to make an appearance tonight? Uh, he has already made his appearance. He may be, He's probably not listening in. I'm sure he's not. Somebody in his camp may be listening in, uh, but I doubt that he, he's probably too busy crying and drinking. <laughs> Steph Jason How did says, I... what, effect would have on his probation? what effect would it have on his probation? Um, I'm not sure what what effect what would have on his probation. I know one thing is Lauren now can rightfully request that his personal information be removed from the registry due to harassment. So Lauren has now, been harassed, so. now that he has his probation officer giving him printouts, who prints out a YouTube video? <laughs> I thought that was just a <laughs> meme. But yeah, so they handed they handed him over to him. And uh you know, can take from that what what you wish. But there is. Lauren was probably confused when he gave him the printouts because he was like, I keep pressing the play button and it won't play. Yeah. <laughs> this wireless um, service is terrible. <laughs> and I mean, and and truthfully, um, well, I don't know. I mean, there's the, the sex offender registry as far as whether it should have people's jobs and people's um, addresses up is an interesting one. I mean, he's been, he has not been at all harassed um, from any of that information. No one's went to his job and no one's went to his house or anything or sent him anything. And I don't recommend anybody to do that. Uh, but I, yeah, I far, have even Yeah, apart ill-advised swatting, it's, it's been <laughs> pretty clean in that, in that. But I mean, I, I have I have said before that people need and deserve to know who these guys are and who is out here trying to to harm children, and that's why that list exists, and that's why it needs to always exist. Um, Ryan it's Bond just says, a matter. Do you think, hmm? Sorry, I was. Uh, Ryan Bond says, "Do you think Lauren's literal asshole had the white stuff come out in prison?" Oh. Well, we know it went in. <laughs> We, yeah. we know, Lord knows it went in. And uh, here's a good question for you. Is there, uh, Ramona, Sugsfan JB321 says, uh, is there any sort of plan if he does call back and try to get back in Ramona's life? He truly does seem stupid enough that I wouldn't rule it out, especially given he thinks she was brainwashed. So uh, what if he you calls know, back? I mean, honestly, if, if, if he is that desperate to have a friend and he calls me back, you know, obviously he knows who I am. I'm not going to tell him, you know, I'm not going to say that that was all a hoax or anything like that. But, yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, I'll be nice to him and, and whatnot. But, you know, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd be nice to him and I'd talk to him. Um, if Lauren I mean, called me back, I'd make fart sounds in his ears the whole time until God. he hangs up. <laughs> Fuck that and, guy. <laughs> and that was ultimately my intention was just to be, I don't know why, be nice to a registered sex, but whatever, but that was my ultimate intention. And just like we know about Lauren, there can't be a woman on the Internet who he just talks to as a friend and does not try to have some kind of sexual relationship with. You don't just talk, he meets. Yeah, that's he, right. The gentleman he to let me... Slut machine, says, <laughs> machine Gun says, I would love to catfish Lauren. Hey, go for it, girl. You know, I'll tell you what would be funny. If you <laughs> decide to catfish him, I'll be your therapist, and I'll just talk with a bad Australian accent, and let's he'll probably it. buy it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> uh, I uh, I don't know. I, I guess I don't mean to put you on the Australian spot. Accent. No, I'm He's trying to think of because the first thought is to go with a British accent, but add a little spice to it, right? Like, um, hey mate, <laughs> yeah. hey mate, you waited a minute and you got hey mate, and it was bad. Hey, uh, slut machine gun and any other Australians. Well, the first time I went to Australia, I ate at a place called Steve's Kebab House, 
So I want to know if it's still there. <laughs> you know, because I'm sure all of Australia all goes to the same place where that restaurant was. <laughs> um, they put radishes on, like radishes and carrots on their hamburgers, which is crazy to me. I thought I would share that with everybody. How did I resist? How the fuck, Ramona, how the fuck did you resist not hanging up on the fucker when he was yelling at the top of his lungs? Because it's it, it was just fascinating. I mean, I he has yelled at Optiv, I think that's the word, that I've never heard anybody at before. And it's it was just it was just fascinating. I had never experienced anything like that in my life. I mean, I was serious when I said that you know, I've had boyfriends before and none of them have ever talked to me like that. I don't think it's something that guys should make a habit of. My favorite line was when he was yelling at you for seeing the doctor naked. And then Ramona said, everybody is seeing you naked. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Mark Shaw says, let's be real. Ramona is the one getting trolled by Lauren. She's wasted hundreds of hours making small talk with a pedo for no real payoff. I don't think Mark Shaw understands how much money we're making doing this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm cleaning up on this. I've made so much so much scratch from this project that I um, have a lot of money now. That's how much. A lot, a whole lot. Well, I didn't make zippity doodah off of it, but... <laughs> I'll send you your cut. Don't worry. Yeah. So, right. so much, Adana. Some things aren't uh, about some, money. Someone filled me on this. How, how the fuck did you guys convince Lauren that Ramona didn't blow the doctor a la the call with Mike V? What happened after that? Was it recorded and I missed it? Um, wait, huh? wants to know how you convince Lauren this was before yeah. I was how you, how you, how did you convince Lauren that Ramona didn't blow the doctor a la the call with Mike V remember when we called Lauren yeah you guys called <laughs> and, and I played like... a video for Lauren and it was you blowing the doctor and he got pissed off and called you a fucking cunt how did yeah. you convince him that didn't really happen um, I, he's Lauren, <laughs> but no, um, I, <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I told him that I, I didn't do that and I did, I told him I didn't mean to do it and I never meant to do it <laughs> and I just bought those condoms to sit in my car and get rubber burned. You know how like rubber, like if it sits outside It'll like crack. So those are the kinds of condoms that Lauren had bought. Or the, I mean, that that's what have, what would have happened to condoms sitting in Lauren's hot truck. They would have just cracked open. So that, basically, that's what I said. I told him that um, you know I I didn't do it, and eventually he believed me. Um, Ramona seriously. Did this project interfere negative with in, interfere with your relation? No, no, why can't I read? Did this project interfere with your relationship with boyfriend negatively? No, I mean there were times where he wasn't pleased with it, but um, you know he loves me and he knows that this was something that was interesting to me, so he's he's cool with it. You know, he has his video games. I have one. Um. <laughs> Slut Machine Gun says, can Ramona try calling him one last time now, see how he's feeling after finding out? I don't think so. I guess that's on Ramona ultimately, but uh, I think, I think we're done. Who, right? who... Yeah, for tonight, I mean. Let him. Can you call Roy, Victor says. <laughs> I don't oh, think God, the shed has a phone in it. Roy's an interesting one. Yes, Born Drink the... Bud Light. Through Nichols, Lauren won't call. He'll have his mom call. Yeah, you may have you may have to feel the call from the mom, Ramona. That's a good point. And my apologies, I am like way behind. I'm reading stuff that was sent in at 11:30, and I'm sorry for that. I, well, no, I'm not sorry. I'm answering your fucking questions, and I'm getting all of them. So, there. 
Okay, so anyway. Any lonely men want me to catfish them, says so Slut Machine Gun. If there's any lonely men listening that want to be catfished, we have a candidate. Could you do a Steph, Steph JC? Could you do a prank call where you ring Lauren and the other T-Cat characters and put them all on the phone to each other at the same time? Would be chaotically funny. That would be pretty funny. I think the hold up there is, A, Lauren's going to be very, well, Lauren should be extremely wary of calls from people he doesn't know now. We all know he won't be. Uh, exalted one, when you do upload, will you keep include the post-call talk with the three of y'all? Yeah, my guess is uh, I think Ember's going to take the con on that one, on um, compiling all the material or at least um, editing it because uh, we do need to clean some things up in it. So my guess is that um, a truncated version, an edited version will be available and an, and an edited version, and an unedited version, excuse me. Um, but we're not going to um, – that all those questions all those questions about distribution will be answered in time. Please be patient and understand that the people who are going to be releasing it, the, the only reason we're trying – we're just trying to do our due diligence here because um, Lauren's awareness of the project is relatively new. So we have to be uh, – we just want to play it safe for everybody's um. interest. What is the most disgusting thing Lauren has said to you, Ramona? That's a good question. That's one that requires some thought because there's been a lot of things. Um, if anybody has any ideas, feel free to throw it out there. But I can't think of any else. I can't think of what the most disgusting one would be the at this time. Picture of this poop. Is that what? Yeah, what that, that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, that would do it for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not into the scat stuff. I don't know. Like that's one of the reasons I could never get into the Stanley stuff because there's, there's so much of that kind of stuff, and I just I'm not about that life. <laughs> Verona, do you think after all this, Lauren's future love life will actually be healthier? Asked Frecklepad. Maybe he'll finally stop investing so much in online relationships with people he's never met. I have told him that. So many times, um, and so your guess is as good as mine. Um, I think he has a lot of work to do on himself. He's not. He's not. He's not ready for a serious relationship. And I think that the reason why, I think the way that a man gets to be that at 47 is because they piss away their 20s and their 30s and their early 40s on bullshit. And that's why he is where he is right now. But the thing is, is that he won't ever admit that. And so, he, and so if he's not going to admit the problem, then it can't change. Did or um, Ramona, did Lauren ever try to have phone sex with you? He tried to get me to masturbate on the phone for him, but and of course, I wouldn't do that. Um, but he said that he couldn't do anything, like because he, because of his lie detector test that he has to take. Um, Ryan, Ryan Bonds, the Stanley stuff made me want to throw up. Agreed. Tim Darling, Stanley was a vile, vile man. Agreed. Uh, Buchanan Baxter, seeing Lauren receive a fatality by Sam Pendleton was the cleanest, but this is the most awesome video. To those of you who haven't seen Arrested Development's latest video, please go and watch it. Yes. It's, it's total Godhead live, man. And I say that not only because the therapist is indirectly responsible. For, well, I'm not going to ruin it. Just go watch it. It's great. You'll love it. It is. It really is. I was pleased and surprised and good job for him. Um, are you are you worried that the corti costeroid I can't speak um, release from Lauren lack of, Lauren stress lack of sleep may has may have caused sulfate malabsorption and hindered your cartilage regeneration in your knees. Oh, that's a long winded one, <laughs> but it's funny. But no, it was actually a slip and fall coming out of the shower in 2015. Captain, Captain Spaz says, hey, Sam Pendleton, do you have any pictures of me that you photoshopped at one time in the past that you want me to share publicly, that you want to share publicly? I think that's what Captain Spaz just asked. 
Holy shit. Ramona, did you ever tell Lauren to stop doing disgusting things into the phone, like blowing his nose, hawking a loogie, etc.? Not at all, because those are some of the greatest things I've ever heard. And um, I know that any woman... What, 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 Sam? I was just, finish, finish, I'm laughing at Zachary Stanford's question. Do you have any, do you have any of Stanley's nudes? I need them for my personal use. <laughs> uh-huh. All you want and more in that department, but I have to tell you, Stan did not like close-ups of his nipples, and that's a shame because he always described one as being inverted and the other one not being inverted. So he was really, he would always just show the one nipple and he'd always just kind of pull on the one nipple. So if that's not your thing then you're going to be disappointed. But everything else about Sexy Man Stanley is just superb, and you will be aroused. Anybody you show will become aroused. Um, it's like that chemical weapon that was being created by one of the one of our governments to make everybody gay. That's exactly what Stan's pictures do to you. Um, I know Sam had to struggle with that a little bit. Um, he just wouldn't stop asking me for the videos. He wanted the animated ones, not just the stills. And the same thing with Ramona. <laughs> Ramona particularly liked uh, Stan opening and closing his asshole and making it clap for us. So, you know, we all have we all have our things. I liked it when Stan poured piss all over himself and then proclaimed for the other person to acknowledge that he was a slave. Uh, Stanley is disgusting, but he was so fun to laugh at because you just can't feel bad for laughing at a man who admits to have fondled his son in a diaper, his infant oh, God. son. Okay, we'll talk more about that later. I didn't know that about him. I didn't know. I, I yeah, I haven't recorded it. Maybe and I've neglected other pedophiles. Oh. Yeah, he's oh, a bad man. Oh, but he's God. dead. <laughs> Super dead. Doug Hastings <laughs> asks a great question. He says, "Were you ever afraid talking to Lauren?" There were so many times in those calls that I was just like, "Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I'm not there right now." Oh my goodness! I'm so glad that there that there's not another like that there's not an actual girl in his presence. I was so happy about that. I was so glad that the person who was taking the brunt of his abuse and his drunken and violent rages was me being on the phone. I was so happy about that. But as far as like being afraid, there was one time uh, I was talking to him. It was about maybe maybe about a month and a half ago. And he was so loud and so vulgar. And, and I mean, it was like, it was worse than the stuff that he typically does, which is call me a cunt. So, I mean, you can imagine if he can top that, the kind of stuff that he was saying, the way that he was screaming at me, the way that he was belittling me. I just remember, and that was a pretty long call, I just remember like sitting there after the call and I was like, oh my gosh, like that one, it didn't get to me on a, on I guess like maybe a personal level, but it was very, um, it was, it was truly disturbing to me and it, it truly like, I wouldn't say it upset me, but it was just to hear someone say those things about you, even though you know this is an unimportant person and even though you know that this is a person who, is violent and vulgar to hear someone say those things to you um, affects you on some way, even if it is someone like that, just to be exposed to that. So yes, there was a call where I wouldn't say that I was afraid, but I was just disturbed, very disturbed. Ascension Archangel Ray asked Sam Pendleton, is there anything new you've learned about Lauren when you played the role of the therapist? Nothing factually new. I just, get some insight into his behavior and how he responds to situations of duress. And um, I was a little disappointed that he wasn't more confrontational in terms of taking it to making it physical, like talking about what he'd like to do to me and that sort of thing. He did some of that tonight, um, but that was in the pre-call. You guys didn't need to hear that. Um, so uh, I don't know why I mentioned it, but he, um, I was trying to draw that aspect of a, of that response out of him 
because I, I knew that I would be able to play on that some and um, and uh, use that to, to leverage uh, the Ramona against him to say, well, look, this is where his mind goes when he's angry. He wants to get violent. He really didn't, which I was a little disappointed by. So I, I suppose he deserves some credit. I'm not going to say he deserves credit, but I'll say he that I can't criticize him for being as prone to uh, talking about uh, being physically um, confrontational as I sort of hoped and frankly had anticipated he would be. Mayla, Ma, Malaya asks, what is the meanest thing Warren has ever said to you? The, um, the, the, the thing about when, where he said that, quote, this conversation is more important to your Nana's health like, when he said that, I'm like, fuck this guy. Like, you know, she's a 96-year-old lady. She's an amazing lady. She is she is real. She's not made up for the story. She's real. And for him to say that um, is, you know, it just shows that he's a piece of crap. For him to think that talking to – for him to think that I should place talking to him, who I've never even met, over – you know, a conversation that was supposed to be about helping her health was just disturbing. And fuck him for that. Is this wide enough for you, baby? Oh, somebody has, is. Am I the one with the sexy voice? Thank you. Whatever, Judith, what? another predator. Oh my gosh. I'm worn out with that. Do you want me to play the part um, of the call that didn't get live streamed where I told Lauren off? Because I have it queued up and then Thank I have you, to Julia. go inside. All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to have to bounce in a minute. Anyway, Thank you for that kind compliment, Drew. I very much appreciate that. Lily Luna wants a shout out. Easily excited. Get excited, Lily. The <laughs> highlight of your day. We love Lily. Aww. Here's a funny one. Ramona, has Lauren ever said anything from his calls with Kayla and his calls with you? Yes, 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 yes. He literally used to say, hi, honey, like that. And at first I was like, is he joking? But no, that was him. He, he used to say that. Um, I think he asked me a couple times if I was anxious. I mean, truly, I think he asked me just a couple times back in the beginning, like if I was anxious to do something. Um. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with Triforce. Triforce says that was so funny when he apologized to the therapist at the end of the call. That was extremely mm -hmm. satisfying. Um, I realize this may, for some, uh, taint my image a bit, but um, I'm just going to be candid. I <laughs> love that word. Because I love the word that with that first call, my objective was to get him to cry. And uh, we did it, and that was great. And then to have him apologize to me after I made him cry, that was righteous, man. One of my top ten moments in lornography easily. Steph, JC, I'm not sure I understand that question. Um, what effect, what, Ramona, what effect will him sending dick pics, comma? Hey, you guys, I got to get going. I can leave the call on if you wish, or I can turn it off because, um, yeah, we need to wrap it up. I think it's, 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 it's yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be good to wrap it up because we I need we need to pull this um, video down off the channel just uh, before anybody else uh, gets wise to it that it isn't in the group or that might have nefarious intentions. So I'm going to say my I think we should all say our good nights and um, my thanks, my deep and profound thanks to Ember and Ramona for uh, all of your diligent labor and for allowing me to be a small part of this and my thanks to the, uh, everyone in our family who was part of tonight's live stream remarks any no, last questions you. 
thank you to the supporters and um, everybody else can lick me where I pee. All right, I guess that's it. Um, thank you guys and uh, God bless. Have a great night and stay tuned for more uh, lornography. Good night, everybody.